Hello everyone, how's it going? I am back again with another pick a card reading. So today's reading is going to be about what area of your life is shifting and changing and how to survive Mercury retrograde and any advice I can pull for you guys from the angels. Of course, my readings are timeless. So if you get to this reading at any other time period, it doesn't matter. The messages will still resonate with you and your situation, especially if you feel like you're going through huge changes or shifts. Everybody has personal placements in their life or in their chart that causes shifts to happen. But I definitely feel right now we are going through a shift altogether. So I want to make the reading about that. Also, thank you guys so much for being patient with me. As I said before, some weekends I may take off because it is exhausting exhausting the channel for two hours straight but if you love my content consider supporting me on patreon it's only a dollar and it really does support me and my channel and we have a lot of fun over there thank you guys so much for listening to my intro as you guys know i do sell oracle decks on etsy i'll be using pocket angel today and i have a ton of other stuff going on just look at my links below with the timestamps to see everything i have going on and of course you can follow me on my instagram queen alice love for more i'm only on private because of all the impersonation issues and if anybody reaches out to you pretending to be me, asking you if you want a reading, definitely blog, uh, report, whatever. Do what you got to do because that is not me. I will never reach out to you guys. The only places I answer questions is in my Patreon and also in my 18 plus platform where we have a lot of fun over there as well. Okay, thank you guys so much for listening to my long ass intro. Let's just hop right into the reading and find out what area of life is shifting for you. All right, let's get started. Hello, pile number one. How's it going, guys? Okay, so first of all, the message that I'm receiving for you guys is that like your whole world is shifting and changing. You may feel completely different because I'm seeing the 12th house here, which shows that you guys are going through this like deep spiritual transformation. But on top of it, we got the seventh house and the sixth house. Your relationship and your work situation is going to look different. And that's going to manifest different for everybody. But I'm definitely seeing for pile number one that you guys have been going through this transformation for a while. So I really feel like your whole world world is changing. I even feel like you guys might be preparing for a move or you did a move that made your whole world change. But I feel if you are planning a move or you're thinking about moving, it's definitely messages from the angels. And if you have moved in any which way possible, whether it's your job or location, it's definitely going to change your whole life. And if you are planning a move again, this is a sign from the universe that that's definitely something that you are meant to do. Whatever transformation you guys are going through right now, the only thing I can really say about it is that it's super, super spiritual. So you guys are going to be feeling really different, not feeling like yourself. I feel like I'm going through one of these transformations as well. Like I feel really, really different. And I feel like that's part of a spiritual awakening. And I know a lot of you guys are tired of going through awakenings, but honestly, it never really stops, especially if you are on this path of like self-development. The awakenings just never stop, but you guys are going through an awakening where your whole perception of life and people is going to change. And I'm also hearing from the angels, if you need to stay home and kind of recoup a lot, definitely do that because you're taking on a lot of energy right now and you are like changing on a cellular level. I feel like a lot of you guys have been doing a lot of self work prior to this, like manifesting vision boards, um, subliminals, check out my subliminal channel guys, cause I'm getting a lot of love over there. All my information's in the description box if you're interested in that. But anyway, if you're getting into that stuff or some of you guys are just starting to get into like the law of attraction and all that stuff, either way, this is your sign that it is shifting your whole life. Like I feel for pile number one, people don't realize when you start doing this spiritual work on yourself, your whole world could change because you're beginning to see the world differently. In the past, maybe you weren't as aware that you can change the whole life that you have in front of you. So anyway, pile number one, you guys are on a huge spiritual shift and Again, if you feel different or strange, it will pass. You will definitely like get connected again with feeling like yourself. But the truth is that you are not the same as you used to be in a good way. Definitely third eye opening up even more. Some of you guys are like, whoa, slow it down. I don't want to take on all this energy. I feel you. But it's definitely happening for a reason that heightened awareness. So don't be afraid. Some of you guys are definitely sensing a lot of things and you're like getting a little overstimulated. Again, go home, do things that you enjoy. Um, I'm hearing a lot of you guys, like you may be called to like read or research something new. Definitely just follow whatever it is that you guys are being called to do during this time period. I see with the seven here, relationships are going to change or in a transition, but also on top of it, you guys are going to be attracting a lot of new people into your life. You guys may be seeing 777 a lot, like 111, 222, or 666. And I'll explain what each of those numbers mean. I'm getting so many downloads right now. Let's we'll start with the 777. You guys are learning so much right now. So you may be feeling called to just like take on a new area of study right now. You may also be called to um, just kind of learn more or dissect certain relationships or situations. Some of you guys are just 
you know, you're being called to some kind of new area of study or interested in learning something new. Some of you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like you're just watching YouTube videos about learning something like random and you're like, why am I so attracted to learning about this right now? It has to do with your purpose and what your angels want you to learn about. Like there is something they want you to be aware about or learn more about so that it can assist you on your journey. So 777, again, you're going through huge learning. Huge downloads are coming towards you. 12th house, I mean, that's some Pisces energy here. Again, a lot of spiritual downloads are going to be coming towards you during this time period. Then we have the sixth house here. Your work is probably going to shift or change in some way. And I'm going to look into it a little bit more. But I feel for pile number one, you guys been wanting to like change a course of study or you've been wanting to do something a little bit different. You've been feeling a little bit stagnant. Like I said in like one of my other readings, I'm hearing like your gifts are needed elsewhere. So you guys are going to be shifting your work in one way or another. Now that depends on your circumstance. Some of you guys are doing a whole job change. Some of you guys are adding a new element to what you're doing. Some of you guys are adding like something different to like the table. I don't know. I'm just hearing like you're adding something different or learning something different you could bring to the table, whether that reflects on a whole career change or just adding something else to what you're doing. We'll look into it a little bit more. I'm hearing both. So it really depends on your circumstance. For pile number one, it's like some of you guys completely hate what you're doing right now and you want to make a shift. This is your sign that you are shifting in that direction. A lot of you guys want to get into spiritual work or do something creative or something that really helps others with the sixth house energy. I really feel like you guys, some of you guys may be Virgo, uh, Libra, or Pisces energy. I'm seeing that come in. But yeah, I'm feeling like you guys, you're tired of settling. Like you want to make a difference in the world and you are being prepped to do that like the angels hear your prayers and for those that have already been in that type of line of work or doing something you kind of already love but you're feeling bored there's definitely more that you can you can bring to the table and some of you guys have been holding back some of your gifts and skills and you're going to be shifting so that you can show the world the true the true version of yourself or the new version of yourself Honestly, pile number one, it may feel as though you guys are changing into someone you don't know, but in reality, you're changing into the person you're meant to be. So it's almost like the person that you were before, you're like you're unmasking yourself. So it almost feels like you're different, but you're actually becoming more like you, like you're getting in touch with yourself. So by learning more about yourself and changing and making choices that makes you happy, you're actually becoming more of you. So don't feel like some of you guys feel a little like disassociative right now. Like, who am I? What am I? Like spiritual awakening vibes for sure. But I feel like for pile number one, like you are changing into the person you're meant to be, which I really do love that for you guys, because um, this is going to lead you to the happiness. And a lot of you guys, your happiness does reflect upon, can I help the people around me? Do I love what I'm doing? It, am I living my spiritual purpose. These are the things you guys want to do with your life and you're headed towards that direction. And you've always been, but I feel like right now this shift is really helping you get the right people on your path and also using your gifts in the best way possible. So let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, you guys fought for this new beginning for sure. I definitely getting some love messages coming in for you guys too. Um, some of you guys are just like, I can't even think about love right now. But it's like pile number one, you are attractive to so many people right now with the star here, but you may not feel like that right now because it's almost like a lot of people are just watching you some of you guys may be aquarius or have aquarian energy but i feel like a lot of you guys are doing something interesting or you're changing in a way that's getting people noticing i'm definitely sensing some glow up energy here as well because there are going to be people chasing after you pretty soon i do feel like pound number one you guys were kind of put in isolation period because you needed to kind of get to somewhere you needed to be on your own if that makes sense you had to kind of Spend some time of reflection and decide your next move. And I feel like with all this energy, like you guys always do have a lot of admirers, but it may have been a little bit quiet or people have been taken off your path because they don't want you to be distracted right now during this time period. But I do feel like someone is going to be chasing after you pretty soon if you haven't felt like this has been happening yet. I do feel, again, people want to fight to be in your life. People want to fight to be in your life, pile number one. And if you believe anything otherwise, then you're crazy because I feel for pile number one, people are trying to fight to be in your life right now because you are going places, pile number one i don't care what anybody says you guys are going places again pound number one i'm getting a lot of you cleaned house you got rid of the people that brought you down the people that dissed you or made you feel lesser than and again i always say like relationships are mirrors and people are like does that mean i'm narcissistic no 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 that means a part of you believe some of the things that they were saying that you couldn't be this person that you're meant to be and you guys are meant to really influence people in a positive way and i don't care what line of work you're in you don't have to be on youtube or be a celebrity or influencer but i do feel for pile number one if you do have big dreams like that this is a sign that you are headed in that direction let's see what else we have here yeah okay yeah somebody wants to message you for sure pile number one here's the thing you guys have these huge spiritual awakening vibes inside your soul. Like, I think part of your purpose is to help people awaken in one way or another. Like, you guys bring a new level of awareness 
to whatever it is that you're interested in. You guys are the knowledgeable ones. So you bring this new, this new information to wherever it is that you're going. And I feel as though you awaken people around you, including your admirers. So that's why when you meet people, they really like you, but then they take a step back because you actually make them reevaluate their whole entire life. So there is somebody here that's like, you kind of whip them into thinking about the world a different way. And I actually feel like there could be multiple people here. Again, because we got seven here. Like I'm feeling seven, seven, seven. There's multiple people here. Your purpose is to spread your knowledge and be the person that you're meant to be and it doesn't matter what line of work you're in but i'm definitely getting like teacher healer vibes for sure for this pile and you're shifting in that direction if you haven't been uh, and with the moon here as well like you're getting so many downloads right now some of you guys may want to consider getting a notebook and writing stuff down um it may not make any sense at the time but your angels are like just write down what you think and and reflect upon it because we are trying to send you guys messages like all of you they're talking about all of you right now watching you especially the, the viewer you know i'm talking to you yeah you you're like could it be me yes you the angels are trying to talk to you look prosperity and that's funny because i didn't even want to get into it and it's so funny because 666 a lot of people are like is that like devil numbers no actually when i see 666 in my opinion that feel that feels to me that you guys are worried about your finances but in reality like the direction you're going in is going to lead you to a lot of prosperity and i didn't even want to say it when i first felt this pile i definitely felt money coming in like for you but I didn't want to start it off like that because we're talking about the shifts. I didn't want to go full material yet, but I feel as though you guys are going to get a lot of money coming in here as well. Um, yeah, trust. You guys, like, a part of you did not trust that you can live this life that you're meant to live. But something's going to happen to you where you're going to have this, like, belief in yourself again. And the universe is helping you with that. This shift is going to make you believe in yourself again because there is something you guys really want to get out there and do. And before, you didn't really believe in yourself. But part of that shift, I'm hearing congratulations, had to do with the fact you got rid of people who made you feel lesser than yourself. I might have to close the door if those boats are too loud. I live on a bay, so it's like the highway is like boats. It's like, it's really cool, but it's also sometimes obnoxious. But I keep the door open for George because he likes to go outside. It's netted in though. He's an indoor cat. Anyway, some of you guys are animal lovers too. I, I just like started to like want to talk about George. Anyways, if you want to see pictures of George, follow me on Instagram, Queen Alice Love. I have like a whole reel of him. Um, anyway, we got Harvest here. Okay, so pile number one, a lot of you guys have been working on a lot of things. And I do see that you're going to be able to like harvest like you're going to see the fruits of your labor basically like i'm feeling like for those that have been working long and hard on the things you're passionate about this is like you guys are finally going to get the results and again why is this happening now you finally are having this trust in yourself that you didn't really have before and again part of it was a process getting rid of people in situations that made you feel lesser than yourself going through those karmic cycles getting rid of that poverty mentality believing in yourself and again your your purpose is to inspire and help other people so it's like if you don't believe in yourself how can you convince other people to um actually you guys are really good at convincing other people but it's like you couldn't you weren't quite convinced yourself so it's like you are going to be that person for yourself that you are for everybody else that's the last step like that's what the angels want you to do with the six here as well six 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 sometimes is about off balance like you guys were so off balance giving 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 to others that i feel like you guys have been shifting and trying to give to yourself as difficult as it could be it's paying off and i love that for you guys i love my healers okay confidence again pile number one there's so many things that you guys want to get out there and do. I sense it, but you felt like you couldn't do it for whatever reason. So you're going to start to have this belief in yourself again. And I, and I love that. Well, we got courage and confidence. Like I always say, pile number one, like manifesting is 50% doing and 50 percent manifesting so you guys have gotten the manifestation part down but finally you're gonna get that push to like open that door to the things that you really want in life and some of it really does require putting yourself out there and some of you guys just haven't felt ready to do that like one of your gifts or talents i feel like you guys are hiding but you're gonna get that push to go out there and get it which i really do love i love that okay so let's see what else is going on for my pile number one people let's get a little bit more about the love situation because honestly i'm hearing for you guys all your relationships are going to shift drastically like so don't be afraid i actually saw a tiktok i wish i could credit it but um it's like basically saying humans are afraid to lose their partner but if you were aware that like you only lose your partner when you start to vibrate higher and then you get like a better partnership and that's kind of like the energy here it's like the friends and situations it's like you're only vibing away from them because you're gonna have better like some of you guys don't believe that but it's like you're gonna have people in your life that are so amazing just like you like you made it past this like difficult time period so don't be afraid to lose people during this time period and again pile number one um i feel a lot of you guys are kind of single so it's not really about losing like you know a, a relationship but it is about like sometimes going out and dating and just like 
not vibing with the people and, and you know in the past maybe you guys just felt like is there something wrong with me no like you guys are just meant for something more and better so think of it in a positive light honestly pal number one because the people that come to my videos you guys are all healers and spiritually aware people and not everybody on the planet is awake you guys are awake so it's like you know not everyone's gonna understand or be in your frequency or be in your vibe and that's completely fine you guys are vibrating like really high right now it feels weird right <laughs> pile number one it feels different right i don't know i feel like a shift going on all right or you guys have been going through this for a while all right let's see what else is going on here ten of cups the lovers oh i told you guys someone was coming towards you king of cups oh my god pile number one i thought oh my god look at this all right let me if these boats don't pipe down i'm gonna come out there and swim towards them no i'm kidding all right, so pile number one. Look at this, Ten of Cups, The Lovers, and King of Cups. Ooh, okay, so someone's coming towards you guys. That's all I gotta say, pile number one. I'm hearing, I got my eyes on you. You're everything that I need. I want your, what is that? Um, Drake, Ugh, Drake's been in my head. Yeah, we got a King of Cups. We could be dealing with the, um, we got the Lovers here, so it could be a Gemini, but can also be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Lots of water here. But I think that represents this person's feelings for you. You know, like someone's got a lot of feelings for you guys. Um, let me see. Yeah, this person has gone through a shift themselves. I feel this is somebody that you guys know or hmm, do they know this person, angels? Okay, no, mm, okay. The, what they're saying to me is that love is coming towards you. They don't, they don't want you guys to be attached to the outcome anymore. But what this, this shift that's happening is preparing you for a soulmate or preparing you for a reconciliation from somebody because I feel as though there's somebody here you guys are meant to kind of come together with at a certain point. And that's why I feel like your relationships may be a little bit like it's been hard to kind of get into one. You are divinely guided to be with somebody in particular, at least at this period in your life. But let's get a little bit more information about that. This is huge soulmate vibes coming in. 333 three, three. also, a lot of new friends too. And again, pile number one, like, Soulmates could be friends too as well. Like it doesn't have to always be romantic. Like the seventh house also rules like close partnerships and friendships. Yeah, we got separation here too. This could be somebody, a lot of cards want to come out. Okay, wow. All right, hold up. I guess we're gonna read all of them. Yeah, you guys separated from somebody or you had this kind of energy with somebody where it just didn't feel right at the time or... Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that there's a few energies coming in here, pond number one. Honestly, I'm not even gonna lie to you. There's a few people interested in you. And again, they're all still interested in you that the universe just kind of like separated them from your path because you were meant to go through this spiritual awakening. But I do feel like there's one energy in particular that is coming towards you hot. Like, and I feel as though a lot of you guys could know this person already, but you had to release them and learn how to love yourself first. But I feel like, again, you're interested in keep an open mind and make the effort. Like there's going to be a lot of people making the effort towards you during this time period. And your angels want you to just go with the, they'll go with the flow. Like if I sat here and told you, oh, they're going to be like this and this and this, you're going to be looking for that. But I feel as though for some of you, it could be completely new. It can come out of the blue, but I'm definitely sensing within the one to three months, there's going to be some kind of huge soulmate or situation coming into your life. And again, it could be a friendship. It could be, but it, there's going to be a very positive or beneficial relationship coming into your life. Pile number one. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have been single for a while like my pile number one people it always carries the energy of i'm just gonna do me i don't need love but the right person is gonna make the effort to be in your life they're not they're they're not gonna take no for an answer but not in like a bad way but they're gonna be respectful king of cups honestly the king of cups strikes me as like somebody who would befriend you and get to know you and take their time with you more than any other king like so this person may move a little slower but not in like a not in like a pentacles kind of way more in just like a um like a slower to like push for a relationship, but also be there for you, if that makes sense. Um, or slow to confess feelings, uh, but also just be supportive. Again, I'm getting friendship vibes because the funny thing about this King of Cups, and by the way, guys, I just got this deck and I really like it. It's Edgar Allan Poe, if anyone's interested. I leave all my um, links to my decks below um, if you guys look at all the information I have. I know there's a lot of stuff there. But um, the one thing I really got to say is this King of Cups is here. So I feel like this person you... Um, like, there's a lot of people interested in you, but also one thing I have to say, too, is that, um, what am I trying to say here? This person is very popular. Like, they're very diplomatic, so they have a lot of friends around them, or they may connect you to new people, and that's why I feel like the world is shifting, because your world is shifting, because there's, like, one person here that's going to connect you to new people, new situations, that's going to help you guys level up. So, I'm seeing that, like, this could be a friend, 
connecting you to a soulmate or uh, a soulmate connecting you to more friends. But either way, I'm seeing there's someone here. And again, this could be someone from your past coming back or coming in changed. Or this could be a newer energy that you guys have just met recently. And that's kind of what I'm picking up on. But I do sense for a lot of you guys, there is someone you do have on your mind. And you want to know what the heck is going on with that. Oh my God. So yeah, <laughs> people got to do the work to be in your life, pal, number one. Because I feel like you guys have been doing a lot of shadow work and... Honestly, the people that have been scaring, not scaring me, I don't get afraid, I'm Alice, but like the thing is that like there's a lot of people in this world that they don't acknowledge their shadow side and to me, those are like the most dangerous people, like people who don't actually think they have a uh, like anything wrong with them or they don't think they have anything to work on, that's frightening because they're the ones that typically like act out of their shadow more often because they don't even acknowledge it's their shadow. So you had a lot of people like that in your life you had to get rid of. But, you know, I'm do, I do see problem number one that there's a lot of people that do want to be in your life. So they have to do the shadow work. So, you know, don't push or text or call anybody that's being distant. Let them come to you when they're ready because this divine intervention has a huge part of your life right now. And, again, I feel like there is someone that you do have your eyes on. And they have to do a bit of shadow work before they come towards you guys. And if you don't like anybody right now and just curious why people are acting weird towards you, it's just energy shift. Um, pile number one, I do feel as though if you are completely single, there is someone coming into your life very, very soon because that message was loud like we got the ten of cups someone's bringing you to this happiness fulfillment the lovers king of cups like love that love that for you guys it could be someone in your friend zone starting off as friends or it could be a new friend coming in male or female that brings you to things because again guys soulmates are not just like man and woman you know soulmates are you know platonic soulmates are family like you know this is a deep connection you have with someone it doesn't always have to be um you know a romantic bond but you're going to be bonded with somebody or you are, you know, pile number one as well. And this is kind of what's happening in your life right now. And, you know, and it, even if it is like some of you guys, it could be just a platonic friend that has unconditional love for you, but they may like you. I don't know. I'm just seeing like keep an open mind here. It's like you, you are experiencing this 12th house energy, which is like this unconditional love energy. And I'm learning a little bit more about astrology, but what I've noticed a lot of 12th house placement people, especially like Venus in the 12th, they're very capable of like unconditional love. It's like part of like their purpose. Maybe some of you guys have some 12th house placements. If not, like you're maybe meeting some people with that type of energy. They have unconditional love for people, like just the way that you guys do. So there will be people around you that love you regardless of if you want to push for a relationship or not. Like these people exist. And these are the type of people that you make friends with for life. Um, male or female, you know, it doesn't really matter, um, pile number one. But I do sense that like there is going to be love in your life very soon whether it's through a friend or you know this is the lover meeting making new friends i see you guys being part of something and that's really great because a lot of you guys like myself have been like social rejects you know um growing up which is like it, it leaves it, it takes its toll you know have a relaxing bath yeah honestly all you guys need to do is just relax and go through the motions right now pile number one because you know things are changing for you guys let's see what other advice i could get for you guys during this time period mercury retrograde period shifting period um, also, if you get to this video at a later date, my, my videos are timeless. Look, avoid toxic people. What did I say? These people, it's not that they don't love you. It's just they don't know how to love because they haven't done the work on themselves. Pile number one, you got rid of a lot of people. And yes, they do love you. Like, what's there not to love? But it doesn't mean that they deserve a place in your life. If, if somebody you tried three times, you know, I'm, I'm hearing three times, the, the, you know, you give people a lot of chances, pile number one, right? So, like, you know who is not worthy of your time and energy. Yes, they're going to try to come back, but you'll know if they did the work or not you'll see you'll see because there's a lot of toxic people and you're going to be extra sensitive you'll be able to pick up on it though but you guys have dealt with a lot of toxicity and even sometimes you can't avoid it especially if you guys are in work atmospheres or friend groups or whatever or a school where there's toxicities you can't avoid it but like when you do sense that like there's toxicity around you or you're absorbing it Go have a salt bath at home, relax, essential oils, light a candle, sage, do a little ritual to get rid of that energy um, for sure. Self-exploration. This is a big self-exploring time period for you in throat chakra. I really feel for pound number one, you guys are finally getting the courage to kind of speak up, speak your mind, go after something. Some of you guys, you know, you have music talent, you want to sing, like your throat chakra is going through a change. Uh, I've been kind of like weak in my throat right now too. Like I kind of lost my voice a little bit. So I feel like everyone's going through these kind of shifts right now. Look, clarify your desires. Right now is the time period of deciding what you want and going towards it. Um, so yeah, if you see your life changing and losing people, it's like your angels are like, you asked for this. You want to be aligned with, aligned with your right path? Boom, this is what's going to happen. These toxic people, it's not that they don't love you or they don't want to be in your life. If anything, they are too stuck onto you. So you guys are moving away from that energy, doing what you need to do. And again, have fun again. Like, 
Pound number one, the craziest thing about this transformation is that like, it, it's gonna require having fun and connecting with people, which is great, because a lot of you guys have been in your hermit shell for like most of your life, or you've been isolated from people. I see you guys taking part of groups and, and being a part of things and really enjoying like your life and honestly, pound number one, soul family vibes, like finding your tribe, finding your people, or at least finding one of them that really makes you feel less alone in the world. And I feel if you have kind of, you ready, this has been happening, this is just a sign that you're on the right path. And I see for you guys that like, you have a boost of attractiveness right now. So a lot of people are gonna be coming at you left and right, both toxic and not toxic. So, you know, use discretion. Not everybody who comes at you needs to be your friend, but I'm telling you guys, you're gonna have a boost of popularity. Um, I see that coming in for you guys. Let me just get like a message here. I wanted this deck. Okay, so let's see. Second house, yeah, again, I feel like your drive is gonna come back to as well. Yeah, Pluto, you guys are getting a transformation for like the things that you're going towards in your life too. So I do see like new goals and new um, new ventures coming in, Gemini coming in too. So Gemini energy just wanted to like come into the reading. Uh, very, very interesting. Um, yeah, maybe something involving a Gemini person or again, I did say Gemini with the lover. So again, Gemini is coming in or you guys could be a Gemini. Uh, we got Taurus energy too, as well as um, Scorpio. So again, your sign, someone else's sign, doesn't matter. We got Virgo here too, as well with the sixth house. So, you know, th this can involve someone with these signs in their chart coming in, or this could be you guys, whatever resonates. Got eighth house here as well. Again, deep transformations. And honestly, you guys are getting psychic as heck. So don't forget to rest, okay, pile number one. Woo, that was a lot. I'm channeling like crazy. Hope you guys like this message and I will see you guys all next week. Love you guys so much. Bye. Oh, by the way, pile number one, two more messages came through while I was um, just cleaning up my cards. But um, one thing, the person on your mind does like you back. They just are going through a transformation. They want to clarify that again. And also number two, you guys, are if you're worried about money at all, they don't even want to make the focus about money, but your angels do want to let you know that more money is coming, but they don't want to make that the forefront of what you guys are focused on right now. Focus on having fun, focus on connecting with the right people, doing what you love, focus on, you know, self self-growth and self-care you know if you want to spend a little bit more money on yourself self-care is really important right now for you guys so that's the message i got but definitely whatever shift is happening is going to lead you guys to more money but again your angels did not want to make it like the forefront of the reading because my pound number one people you guys are shifting away from that like i need to hold on to my money i'm not gonna have enough money mentality which is gonna bring you a lot of prosperity anyway i just want to add that add that last bit um into the reading because i wanted to clarify because a lot of you guys are like but what about the money alice it's coming like money is coming guys here look queen of cups uh, again see they don't even want you to focus on money focus on that glow up focus on what's going to make you emotionally happy right now and the money will come that's the main message here anyway guys love you all bye okay pile number two first of all i heard the song a diva is a female version of a hustler if you're on my patreon this was in pile number five with the queen card so it's a synchronicity here you guys are becoming this like queen king energy shout out to my men i know you're here but you guys are becoming like who you're meant to be in this world but i also see as well that a lot of eyes are on you guys right now notice how the hematite is shaped as a heart i feel like you guys you're opening your heart chakra which is attracting a lot of people towards you but also you guys have been through a lot so it's like you're still very shielded emotionally which is a good thing to some extent but i feel as though you guys are learning to show the world the real you but it's a little bit like you're in this period where you feel a bit vulnerable because you guys are becoming very creative i do sense for this pile showing the world more of your creations or things that you're passionate about it's going to make you feel vulnerable but it's also going to make you feel very fulfilled and the second house too is all about like going towards the things that you want so i feel like you guys are really going towards the things you want but it's not just about finances it's about like your purpose we got jupiter in the first house here you guys are going to be very lucky in this time period i feel like whatever you are putting out and whatever you're doing you're going to see a lot of success here so pile number two interesting the shift that's happening is that you guys are becoming very lucky and you're also becoming very powerful and i feel like this is kind of karma too for pile number two because you have dealt with a lot of loss and you had a lot of people who were like dragging you into their toxic patterns, dragging you into their bullshit. And you guys put up with a lot of shit to get to where you are today. And I feel like with the first house here as well, like there, there is a glow up energy going on here. So people are really paying attention to you. And a lot of you guys are like, well, I didn't do anything to glow up, but you have been just working on yourself. And karmically speaking, the universe is giving you that glow up internally, externally. A lot of you guys have been working on your physical appearance. This is your sign that is working out or you've been listening to subliminals. Uh, my subliminal channel is um, working for a lot of you guys. You've been telling me that. If you're interested in that, I'll leave the links below. But even if you're not using my subliminal channel, I just like to plug it because I know it helps you guys out. But 
even if you're not doing that, there's like a regalness about you guys right now. And people are really paying attention to you. Like I couldn't help with the eyes there. Like eyes are on you guys. And also some of you guys really do have beautiful eyes. Like maybe people have told you that. Um, eyes are the windows to the soul. Like pile number two, there's a lot of like becoming who you're meant to be energy here. So um, again, you're becoming very powerful and people are going to start to treat you differently. Uh, some people may even come at you funny, but it's because people are sensing that you're discovering who you are in this world. But I do see a lot of luck coming towards you guys. Honestly, pawn number two, I feel a lot of you guys may be starting new projects, making creations, starting a new job, doing, or maybe even like taking tests or doing something in your life right now. You're starting something new and I feel like it's going to pay off. And also you're going to feel especially lucky doing this. It's a sign that this is also part of your purpose. So it's like, yes, you are lucky when it comes to whatever you're putting out there during this time period, but also it's working out for you because it's part of your purpose. So I feel pile number two, whatever you've been putting out there, whatever you've been doing, whatever you've been working on, you're going to see a boost of luck. It's going to feel like random success, but honestly, it's well-deserved. It's karmic. It's for you guys. It's, it's also um, because... Honestly, pound number two, people are trying to hold you back for a while. I feel that you had some haters or people that have tried to, I'm, I don't want to say a hex, but I feel like a lot of people have seen your potential and they may have tried to bring you down, whether it's friends, whether it's family, whether it's, you know, coworkers, or if you are on social media, other people who feel that you are competition. People have tried it. They tried you, pound number two. I'm not even going to lie about it. They tried you, but... Karmically speaking, I feel like everything is coming back towards them this retrograde season and like for you things are going to pay off like I feel like this is like what comes around goes around energy for a lot of people in your life. So justice is served pile number two. You're going to be ha ha ha. You ever see that TikTok people were like ha 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 I can't do it but like they're laughing like ha ha ha. Like I feel like that's you guys but you're not going to be laughing at them because that's not who you are but at the same time like you guys sat and watched people try to bring you down and you said nothing because I feel like you guys with this second house a little bit of Taurus energy some of you guys may have a lot of second house energy you're more of like let's wait and see types you guys did not act out of impulse when someone tried to do you wrong or dirty and this happened a few times like you guys could with this power blast them away into infinity but you didn't you were calm you were patient and now things are going to pay off for you guys because you guys are strategic planners as well pile number two I see you guys you guys got it going on okay so you are you know what this has patterns here but I'm reading it upside down and I'm feeling protected highly protected people it's like you guys don't even got to do anything like it's almost to the point where if someone tries to do you dirty you kind of feel sorry for them you're like oh, oh my my angels and my guides and my ancestors oh guys go easy on them you know because you guys know that you are highly divine and highly protected so it's like pile number two the reason why you're so powerful now more than ever is because you're realizing it you're gonna have this realization or you have had this realization but most of you guys not yet you're gonna have this realization when you see Someone who did you wrong and dirty, get 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 what's coming to them. And I know that sounds like bad, but it's, it's not bad because it's almost like their lesson to learn too as well. They should not be sending you this negativity or this hate, whoever this individual is. Could be more than one for a lot of you guys, but I really feel like you, somebody really came for your life, pile number two, or a few people. But it's because you are this goddess. Like They're jealous of you because pile number two, they probably couldn't be who you are even if they try in this lifetime. Like who you guys are, pile number two, this is something that you guys have been working on in many lifetimes. Like you came here with a specific mission and it's like no one's going to stop you from accomplishing that. So don't ever think anyone can ever stop you from accomplishing the things that you want to in life. Pile number two, the only person that's going to get in the way is you if you let these people get to you or these situations get to you. But anyway, super lucky. I've met a few people with Jupiter in the first. Do you guys have Jupiter in the first or uh, strong Jupiter or Mercury placements? Because if not... Um, you're going to get this like lucky energy. I've known people with Jupiter in the first and they're extremely lucky. They're the type of people that they gamble and they like win a lot of money. But anyway, I'm not going to get into that. I'm not saying gamble pile number two. You guys are focused with this luck. You're going to use it to your benefit. So even for example, pile number two, it's like maybe some of you guys are on TikTok or whatever. You have a business and maybe that TikTok, the TikTok takes off, but you're like, okay, how do I turn this into, um, you know, into clients? You know, like it's more like you guys are going to use that luck to help benefit you. Cause like if you just have luck and and don't know how to use it it's not really luck it's just random successes that can't be channeled productively but you guys like you learned how to channel your energy productively so now you're getting this luck towards you that you need to boost whatever it is that you're working on i hope that makes sense guys because i'm channeling a lot and i'm hope i'm trying to bring this energy down to earth all right so we got mercury here too okay yeah i feel for pile number two your words are powerful like you have this amazing energy to you that can manifest so Anything that you say to people during this time period, they're going to be paying attention to. I just get this power and presence. And this is the heaviest stone. I picked out new stones the other day at the store. This is the heaviest one. Like, 
you guys also have this heavy energy because you have like a lot of past lives pile number two i feel like you are releasing a lot of karma too you had a lot of karmic relationships in past lives too where like people have been beefing with you uh, you know what i mean like but that i feel like there's a lot of like past life karma you guys have been clearing out and now like you're ready to shine which which is awesome but we got the bears see this is all about becoming powerful and becoming well respected like this is the shift the shift is happening within you and with this new power and respect and the way that you carry yourself a lot of luck a lot of success love that for you guys and we got the clover which is about luck guys i cannot make this up <laughs> i cannot make it up if i tried luck and power that's what's shifting for you guys Oh my gosh um i was just talking about going through like an emo phase i don't know if any guys went through an emo phase um it's funny because there's been like some studies online or whatever doreen virtue before she went off the you know whatever and we're not gonna get into that right now but she had like a book and she said that like um i used to read all her material which was great in my opinion um but she used to say that old souls like to wear black and like sometimes are like attracted to like alternative um because like wearing black actually protects your energy some of you guys like you did have like an emo phase or like an alternate phase or you do dress a little bit or you prefer to dress in dark colors and stuff like that i don't know why that's coming in it's because like i heard um the song by like sleeping with sirens king for a day like i'm tired of sleeping like a dog on the floor like you guys are tired of being kicked around pushed around this is your time to reclaim your power so emo phase or not maybe some of you guys might resonate with that but i think that's really interesting um that she had said that because i actually find that there's a kind of a synchronicity a lot of you guys are a little bit more into like alternative or live like alternative lifestyles or i just think it comes along with like not being an old deep soul but not but also being not afraid to express yourself like a lot of you guys do like wear piercings and tattoos and stuff like that or some of you guys want to start expressing yourself more like go for it because i don't even know how i got into the that that random tangent but yeah that song if you want to look it up like it's about just like being tired of like you know being kicked around and stuff you guys are tired of it you reclaimed your power pile number two along the way and you're learning how to reclaim your power in this lifetime so pile number two you've always been powerful soul but i feel like maybe in lifetimes you have sacrificed that to make other people happy you're not doing this anymore especially in this this phase of your life first house here putting yourself first is going to benefit you and a lot of you guys you like to help people so if you Put that energy into you you end up helping more people that way when you're at your most powerful when you're drained and tired like you're you're not going to be your best self so this is all about becoming your best self right now the shift that's happening to you guys is that you're just going to feel more powerful and in return luck is going to come towards you we have the six of wands here so yeah again luck and popularity and again pile number two a lot of you guys are on social media or you have these big goals and dreams you want to be in the spotlight you're destined for that you're destined to influence and help a lot of people and it's like you're going to get that big break or you're going to get something really good happening with the six of wands the win the promotion whatever it is you've been working towards i am aware that not all you guys want to be like seen in the spotlight but Pile number two, I'm not going to lie, your your destiny is to be seen. Like, a lot of you guys are uncomfortable with that energy, but that's probably because, karmically speaking, you've been put down so much. You're meant to be seen. You're meant to have eyes on you. Like, it's part of your purpose, pile number um, two. So, I feel like a lot of you guys have been going through this glow up so that you could be prepped to be seen and noticed by others. So, pile number two, some of you guys, I'm calling your ass out. Have you not posted a photo of yourself in a while? Let everybody see you. You guys are amazing, okay? And some of you guys, you have business pages or personal pages, but you never post yourself. Like, people want to see you, pile number two. They want to see what you are about. Believe me, I, I used to be the same way. A lot of you guys are like, well, why don't you put yourself on camera? Well, I wanted to make sure, like, my readings are about the readings. I didn't want to make it about me, but you guys can follow me on Instagram if you want to see me. I've been posting a lot more of myself, expressing myself more for freely unfortunately i gotta be on private because of the impersonation issues but you guys can follow me queen alice love and i love when i see you guys follow me i always check out your pages low-key you guys are baddies i don't care what anybody says um people that watch my videos are, are baddies i don't care i don't care what anybody says okay we got the baddest bitches over here at alice loves this visions you want to know why this power okay so i don't want to hear any of that like i'm not good looking no i don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it okay 11 11 on my clock when i said that <laughs> oh yeah we got judgment and six of cups okay so pile number two the shift that's happening with you guys is really interesting you're gonna get the realization that a lot of what, how you are is because of the people in your past trying to bring you down or even your childhood pile number two or even your past lives like doing some deep soul work over here but there's been people in your past really trying to bring you down and it almost like you forgot who you were like there's a card i feel like it's in one of the angel decks remember who you are maybe the archangel michael deck remember who you are like this is like your angels are like this shift is like you guys truly remembering who you are like you're gonna feel stupid confident in yourself and you should because you're remembering who you are anyone that's like trying to 
take you down a notch uh-uh get rid of them i had x like ugh. shout out to you if you're watching actually don't watch my videos but i started to feel myself again you know working on myself and i was like oh i look really good today and and this ex was like i kid you not like you know be, you should humble yourself being cocky is like not attractive and it's like whoa now why can't i compliment myself like she <laughs> but anyway so you know this ex i was like nope you gotta go and like clockwork try to contact me mercury retrograde so you guys may get some of these people trying to come back from the past uh no block delete bye yeah you try to bring me down for the last time heard that but pile number two <laughs> some of those people can be really convincing like yeah i should stay humble humility is such a good thing humbleness you've been humble your whole life pile number two like don't let anybody trick you into being humble you know how to be humble you've been humble this is about you guys getting that pushed out to the spotlight and honestly the people who make it in this world it's, it's because they have this this self-belief in themselves and you guys have to embrace that it's like i don't care what anyone says if people tell you you got to be humble it's like they're they're just they're just haters they're trying to bring you down because i sense for this pile like you've been kicked around you've been pushed around you've been not sticking up for yourself and you're finally doing that this is your time to do that like i don't care what they say because you guys you love helping people you're good people you're great people and these people that are putting you down what are they even doing for the collective let's get real they're not being a good friend or a good lover let's start with that you know but no shade no lots of shade actually anyways um let's see what else is going on here for you guys Let's see what else your angels want to tell you. All right, yeah. So we have the six of cups here. Um, Yeah, pile number two, Um, it's really interesting. A lot of people are gonna wanna come back from your past, but look at the way these people are just like falling. Like you're like, nah, like you're gonna be like, I've risen above these people. Like you're gonna feel good about just saying no to them. But honestly, you're not even gonna feel called to be around them because like the devil, yeah. You guys are gonna see for what they are, like the devil energy, like people who are trying to bring you back, people who are trying to be toxic, people who are trying to pull you back into where you were. But it's like a lot of people are gonna try to come into your life because you are thriving, because you are successful, and they want a part of it. But it was like, where were they when you needed them? Where were they when when you needed them? And you can't even argue with these type of people because they're gonna be like, I was there, you know, like no, you weren't. Uh, uh we got the high priestess here. Uh, you guys are really embracing your spiritual side. And again, I'm hearing that pile number two. There's like a quiet confidence here. It's not even about like, oh, I'm going to be yelling at people left and right. No, it's like a pulling back your energy and just cutting cords with people when you need to. You don't even have to like raise your voice anymore or do anything or argue back. Like people know you are not one to be messed with. I said it one time and that's it like type of energy. And pile number two, we got the high priestess here as well. I'm hearing, I don't chase, I attract. You guys are getting into that. Like, you don't chase nobody. You don't chase no man. You don't play no games. You know, you know. like, I told you, I liked you. If you want to come towards me, come towards me. If not, play childish games somewhere else. Boom, period. Like, that's what I'm seeing for problem number two. Like, you you are not you are not attracting anything other than kings and queens. And if you do, it's you're not, you're laughing in the face. Like, what do you think? We got the lovers here. Again, wow, it's two times in a row. We got the lovers in the last pile too. Yeah, you an ex is wants to come back pile number um two, but but look you because look at all these look at all these coins you got look at the success look at the independence you got there's an ex here that wants to come back or a past lover or a past fling or a past friend that you guys cut off and it's because they see that you've been doing so well so be wary of that you guys see it for what it is but I do see that coming in and yeah you did have a strong connection to this person at the time but now you're over it eight of pentacles yeah honestly pile number two. This sounds a little bit like, okay, you guys are like vibing with me because I really feel like my people, right? Because I, I actually feel a lot of you guys don't want love messages anymore. You're just focused on yourself. And it's funny because that's the energy I see here. Like you guys are like falling in love with your work. Like your, your work and your mission is like your soulmate, right? So if anybody throws you off of that path, then they're not the one for you. And I feel like you guys are making that connection. You're like, well, this person's distracting me. They're draining me, not inspiring me, bringing nothing to the table then bye, you know, don't be around me. That's it. Like I see with the lovers, the nine of pentacles, you guys are falling in love with yourself. Money, you're going to see the fruits of your labor happen and you're going to really fall in love with just being single, like loving your single life. If you're in a relationship right now, then this can relate to just being not needing like friendships or validation from other people. But for my single people out there, I really feel like you guys are going to feel financially independent and successful. And it's like, you don't accept anything less than you deserve because you can give it to yourself. But that being said, anybody that wants to come towards you, they got to come correct. Whoa, what did I say, Pop? Guys, you saw me shuffle this, right? Love your single life. Pile number two, can we just get a th thumbs up or something? 
I literally just, I feel like that was a magic trick. Okay, I literally just said, love your single life, and that card came out. Thank you, angels, for that confirmation. What did I just say? Solar chakra. Just confidence in yourself. It's like, I don't need you. I don't need you. So don't, don't talk that way to me. Again, pound number two. Just because you're going through these shifts and you're becoming self-aware of yourself doesn't mean that people are not going to act wrong towards you. That's a matter of life. Believe me, I the more powerful and self-love I have, the more people come at me crazy. I'm like, whoa, what was that? You know, but that's because it's like you, this energy you got is just, it's just so intimidating to people. It's amazing though, because your confidence is going to be so, so much better when you see this luck happen for yourself. Start to take action, guys, because you will see the results during this time period. Karma is on your side. <laughs> and you're whoever. Look, make new friends. Also sweet. Sunflower. Uh, Leo energy here. I know I'm hearing your sunflower. I I'm hearing Post Malone, your sunflower. That's what the angels are saying to you guys. Your sunflower. I'm getting a lot of music in my head. Um, I know I lost my voice a little bit, but I'm let go and move on. Make new friends. That's it. You know, like, again, look at you guys. Uh, you guys are letting go. You're moving on. And you will. For those that don't have the new friends yet, you will. And again, I I moved to a, um, a state where I know nobody. So um, it's tough, you know, pile number two. If you guys join my Patreon, um, it's only a dollar. Pile number one in my last reading, I gave a little bit of advice about friend making. And I think that some of you guys, if you want that, uh, go ahead and check it out. Because um, being like this type of energy and making friends could be very difficult because you do get a lot of polarizing love you got people who just want to be you, you got people want to follow you, you got people want to hate you it's like trying to find energy matches it's, it's hard you got to ship through some toxicities but and it's like pile number two don't give up just because you've taken some hard l's believe me pile number two i've taken some hard l's when it comes to making friends you wouldn't think so because it's like oh you know you have so much you know people who like you on, on youtube or whatever but it doesn't always translate to like your personal life like your work life you know what i'm saying actually sometimes it makes it worse because it's like people like expect one thing from you and they and like you still have your work you and the real you too but some of you guys if you're starting a new job or venture you could be making new friends through there again you guys are getting super creative full circle um yellows and, and yellow i'm seeing a lot of yellows here so you guys are in a very creative energy music again I, i'm getting so much music in this pile yeah you guys are really motivated to like work on yourself with all this energy going on, don't forget to hydrate and, you know, do things you love. Some of you guys are starting a workout plan. Um, angels say work out to music or even like I try to make my subliminals like things you can work out to. Because when you work out to subliminals, it's really powerful. That's like one of my tips as well. And uh, then live your dream. Like you guys are making this. You guys are realizing you can live your dream. Like it is possible. And I feel as though this new energy that's coming into your life. Pile number two, I feel like it's a, like a almost like a answered prayer. Like this luck that's coming in it's actually like divine divinely orchestrated so it feels like luck but it's actually the angels being like you're on the right path here have a cookie you know prosperity money money's coming for you guys celebrations yeah you're gonna be like i feel a lot of people that like a lot of energy of like popularity um making new friends again i gave the same advice on my patreon i'm seeing a lot of synchronicities but a lot of you are going to be invited out like to a group or a party or a wedding or some kind of social gathering um you're going to make new friends that way like just say yes to things and even my advice pile number two you might be invited out with somebody you don't really enjoy that much but you could meet someone else through that person so keep an open mind and shield your energy pile number two because you guys are super sensitive and you know, I'm, t I'm tired of asking why, why, why people are like this, pile number two, but like I'm discouraged sometimes making friends because sometimes people are just mean. Like, like I, I'm a big softy, you know, when it comes to it. You know, I'm just like, when people are mean to me or like they treat me badly, I still don't understand it. But it's like, don't question it anymore. Just shift your energy towards the people that do treat you well and respectfully because there's gonna be plenty of people like that. And again, hematite and stuff, let it brush, let it brush off like, you know, I'm sensitive. I am Aquarius, yes, but I, I'm cusping. I believe in cusp personally. Some people don't, whatever. To each their own. I'm cusping Pisces, a Cancer rising, Virgo moon. I'm soft, guys. I don't care. Uh, you know, I may not articulate my emotions a lot, but I'm soft. And I meet a lot of Sag friends, and they're my favorite people because I really feel like they have the ability to let things roll off of them. Like, one of my friends is Sag. Like, whenever, like, you see someone be mean to me or whatever, he's like, Allison, just let it go. Oh, I just slipped my real name again. I don't care anymore. Alice is my alias, guys. But anyways... If you made it this far into the reading, what's up? Uh, but, you know, just let it go. Like, let it, because, like, it's hard for me, because some people, I mean, he's got a Sag rising sun and moon, so <laughs> lucky you. But for some, for me, I absorb, and I just got to let it, like, I got to consciously, like, 
move the energy out of my body because like don't let it get to you you know and that's like something that i had to work through because i am a highly sensitive person but i don't want that to stop me from enjoying life the way that everybody else did like a big part of like my childhood and just being like really depressed and down was that like i felt hypersensitive and that no one could understand me and and it's like those things are very real like you guys have dealt with that too like you know people are mean to you and then they kick you out of the group like it traumatizes you you're like what well i don't need friends anyway you know but pile number two you are going to be making new friends that's the good news and again bad experiences let it roll off of you i know it's tough i know it's tough like i i, I have experiences every day that try my patience but at the same time you got to focus on the positives and let yourself sparkle and shine because you guys are meant to be in the spotlight and pile number two i'm not even gonna lie if people have randomly been mean to you, it's a little test from the universe because you guys are meant to be someone in this world. We got the six of wands, let yourself sparkle and shine. We got the queen here. So you guys are meant to be seen and noticed and you're gonna have to take a lot, take in a lot of hate, you know? Um, I kind of got lucky because I feel as though, like my, my YouTube journey has been mostly with love because of you guys, but on TikTok, it was a different story. Like, you know, I got a lot of hate on there because, you know, it's more of like a, my well, I got, I definitely got more views on there, so that kind of makes sense, but I wasn't used to it, and it really hurt my feelings, but at the same time, I'm like, I take it as a compliment now, you know, because the more popular you are, or the more successful you are, the more you're going to get hate, so if you guys are getting random hate, that's a test from the universe to, to prep you, to harden your shell a little bit, so pile number two, part of this journey and the shift is to get thicker skin, but not lose your softness and your sensitivity and what makes you you. Um, so let's see. Yep. Destiny. It's your destiny to sparkle and shine and be seen. And you guys are realizing that. So again, you get random hate, random people just saying mean shit to you or whatever. Let it roll off of you because that's actually a sign that you are this queen and your angels are trying to prep you because the more popular you get, it doesn't, you're going to get hate. That's just how life is, especially if you are a light worker and a healer. People don't have sometimes a good response to that type of energy because, you know, it threatens their, their negative vibes. Anyways, pile number two. That's all I really got to say to you guys. This is a long ass reading and I love you guys so much. And again, keep pushing yourself, you know, whatever it is you're working on, doesn't even matter if you're still in school. It doesn't matter where you're at in life. You are meant to be somebody in this world. It's your destiny. And the more you let go and move on from people that make you not feel that that's your destiny, the more you will be towards the right people. And if you feel alone right now, there's a new friends of people out there. Some of you guys may meet people through like an exercise group or um, some of you guys may meet people through like um, work. I'm seeing it doesn't matter. You guys are some of you guys might just might be bold and walk up to people. And, you know, like that's what I'm seeing this type of energy. Like you're like, I got to push myself to make friends. Then it's going to happen, you know, like. 50% manifesting, 50% doing. Your manifestations are working, but don't forget to take action. All right, pile number two. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this reading. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all next week. Bye, guys. Hello, pile number three. How's it going, guys? Actually, the song that I channeled as soon as I got into this reading was Black Magic Woman. Very interesting, pile number three. I think you guys are really getting in touch with your ability to manifest. A lot of you guys do have past lives in the occult and all that stuff and you're really starting to embrace that side of yourself also night woman i just feel like you guys like sex appeal coming from this pile like okay like there's something about you guys that's like really seductive and your angels just want you to know that like people are looking at you like okay who is she who is he i gotta get to know them i'm hearing scorpio energy here too as well that some of you guys may have that in your chart also here in gemini very interesting fifth house leo energy too let's see what's going on here though some of you guys have water moons, um, too. Um, let's see. What do your angels want you to know about what's shifting about the eight of cups? Yeah, pile number three. I feel like you're going to let your freak flag fly. And I, that means something for everybody else. But I feel like you guys are walking away from giving an F what people think. And I love that for you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm getting this, like, aha moment. Like, this is who I am. I don't care what people think. I love that. Because we got the ninth house here. You guys... Like, you're very spiritual. Like, you're meant to follow that. I feel the pile number three, maybe from a young age, you're very attracted to different things, like different cultures, different people, different situations. And I feel like that is your destiny. We got the ninth house and the fifth house. And I feel as though some of you guys, like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, you may be drawn to night activities, like going out, having fun. Like, I feel as though with the night one with the fifth house, I have North Node in my fifth like, so this is coming through, and I really do love to go out and party. I'm not going to lie. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Queen Alice Love. Your girl is a party animal, and that's what makes me happy. Like, I get judgment sometimes, or people, they don't understand it, but to me, it's a spiritual experience because I get to, I get to listen to music, I get to meet new people, go new places, make friends. <laughs> like, I love it for myself, and I, I feel like in the spiritual community, or I meet a lot of people that are like, I do yoga, I don't drink, I, I just meditate every day. And you know, everybody has different um, experience with spirituality. Everyone has different experience with, yes, that stuff is good and it's good for balance, but 
if it's like part of your destiny or you're meant to connect with people in that way or that's something you want to do or that's a transit that you're going through right now where you just kind of feel like dancing and enjoying your life then then who cares what people think there's a lot of judgment on that type of um hobby but to me it's a hobby like i love music i like shows i like to i like to listen to djs i'm um, a dj enthusiast a lot of people that i've dated in the past have like history of being in the dj world like it's just music is an affinity to me i love it and it's like pile number three whatever it is that you love go for it i don't care what it is like that is what the angels are trying to say you're shifting where you're like this is who i am this is what i like this is just me personally what i like but maybe some of you guys can relate to this or some of you guys like you really love to travel and your family is like oh but what about this and that what about school like if you feel called to travel or go where you want to go or or take a gap year or do whatever like do what makes you happy pound number three like some of you guys like you don't want to be in a relationship you want to have a few flings I don't care. You want to have a boyfriend, a sugar daddy. I don't care. Pile number three. This is a, the fifth house rules casual relationships as well. And people don't want to say this, but there is a place for that. And I know people are like, oh, don't sleep with random people. Yes, that's fine. But if we overthink every interaction, it's going to get us stuck to the wrong people as well. Pile number three, the most, <laughs> I'm like, pile number three, I'm like yelling at you guys. The most toxicity has come into my life, not from being casual and having fun, but actually from lack to, from letting somebody else like a boyfriend or ex latch their energy onto me and repeatedly drain my energy. Like that is the toxicity. I know people are always like, oh, don't do it like, life like this. Don't do life like that. Everybody has their own truths. Like I had this epiphany and like life looks different for everyone else. There's not one book that's like, this is how to do life. Like, you know, pile number three, whatever makes you happy. You might be in a phase where finding your true love just ain't it right now. But you know, having fun and connecting with different people, different cultures, dating around, if that's fun for you guys, then do it. Like you don't need anybody to pressure you into a relationship or commitment if you don't want one. Pile number three, you're shifting into somebody that is enjoying their life and doing what they enjoy. Like. Also, I have to say this too, like you guys are going through kind of like a um, transformation. We all are, hence the title of the reading. But I have to say this to you guys in my own experiences. I kind of have phases where I'm like a little bit more out there. I party more. I'm a little bit more, you know, balls to the wall, whatever you want to call it. But it always comes out with like, I always come out of it with like an epiphany or I meet somebody or something happens where I'm like, okay, this is my next step. And it's happened to me a few times um, in between. It's a really interesting story in between. Um, I actually went to school to be a paralegal when I was like 19. It's a long story, but during that time period, I just like graduated from the school. And then I also was working two jobs. So I was like, let me quit one of my jobs, only work part time, take a little bit of a break is when I was actually, I was like 20, whatever. It doesn't matter. I was turning 21 around that time period, but I was like, I just want to go out and have fun. Like I'm turning 21. So during that time period, I was go out all the time. And, um, you know, I would drink a little bit, whatever, you know, but that actually got me comfortable with my true self because I started to read hands like at the bar all the time with people. I was like, let me read your hand, let me read your hand. And then people would be like, whoa, like that actually was accurate. Like it gave me the confidence to kind of have that confidence in myself. So when somebody wanted to hire me at their shop, I'm like, well, I have done this before. Or like when I used to be a bartender, I used to do um, cards for people for extra tips. Like, you know, and some of those lifestyles, like people are judging, but it's like, for me, that helped me connect with my true self. So everybody has their own path. Like I feel some of you guys also may be coming out of the closet during this time period. I just got that message. If not, if you want to experiment, I'm hearing, go for it. Like I'm, I'm hearing some things, pile number three. Uh, you know, I'm not watching you guys, uh, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do, like let your, again, be yourself, do be yourself. It's, this is your time. You're young or if you're older and like, maybe you sacrifice a lot of yourself for family, for, for raising kids and you're older now and you want to go out and enjoy life. Don't let your uh, other people diss you about what makes you happy right now, because that is what's going to connect you to your next step. You know, maybe if you go overboard and you're not paying your bills and you're, you're you know, you, you know, and you. You know, I'm not talking about that type of energy. I'm talking about like, you want to go out and have fun? Go for it. Don't let anyone shame you out of that. Um, Yeah. Anyways, pile number three. The point I was trying to say is that like that transition in my life, eventually, you know, I took the break and then I ended up taking a totally different job because I came to the realization that that job wasn't for me. I needed something more up and going. And so through that transition of like going out and connecting with people and actually learning, I do like to talk to people. I ended up taking a sales job, which, which kind of like shifted my life a little bit in a different direction. But that's what I'm saying, pile number three. Maybe you're drawn towards something different or strange because it's going to lead you to the next step. It may not be your ends meet, but it will definitely... Some of you guys just need to have fun. Like, like F it. Like, you've been working so hard. Like, you, like this is the pile where, like, you don't need an excuse. You don't need a birthday party to go to. You don't need... Just, you know... I'm hearing it's Friday night. We ain't kicking in a while on a Friday night. You guys know that song of City Girls? Um, Friday, I don't forget the name, but drop it below if you know it. But 
it's on TikTok. But anyway, you don't need an excuse, you know? Just just enjoy your life, pile number three. Sheesh. Okay. Got the chariot here. Cause like you guys are the chariot energy. Like you're you're focused. Like you're not one of those people that go off the rails. Like you always know, okay, yeah, I did too much, you know, like Memorial Day weekend, okay, I went a little hard, guys, okay? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go full introvert for three, four days, you know, just just focus on me and George and some work and recharge. Like you guys are the same. You're like me, like I feel like you you know when to reel things back in. You're focused, you're always on the next step, you're always on the next goal. So you may be in a phase right now where you're like, Well, what is next? But that's kind of the point. Like if you want to travel or if you want to connect with different people, like this is the time, like it's your destiny to do that. And like your emotions, like I feel like a lot of the guys are going to be down and depressed unless you do the things that you enjoy or connect with the type of people that you enjoy. We got twin flames here. Okay. Very interesting. Pound number three. I personally do not believe in twin flames. However, when I see that card and energy, I sense a really strong, strong connection with somebody. And I'm also getting pound number three during this time period, you may connect with someone like a taboo type of relationship. There might be something I'm hearing like a forbidden love or something like, Ooh, this sounds fun. Like I feel it may be a fling here that that's like a little bit like spicy, dicey, but there's some lessons and learning in that. Um, yeah, I'm really getting a strong connection coming in. Let's look into that a little bit, you know, cause pile number three, you guys are going places and you're very focused. And I feel like part of your learning is to go out there and experience life. Um, pile number three, no dis or disrespect to my spiritual community. But I feel that a lot of spiritual other people who are on YouTube or whatever, they kind of lack like getting out there in the real world. And before I was on YouTube and before, you know, all of this, whatever, whatever, before I was even super spiritual, I was kind of in the closet about being spiritual for a while too, because I was ashamed, but kind of going out and having fun made me start talking about the things that I loved again. But anyway, part, they lack... <sighs> A lot of people lack like real life experience. So like the things that they're talking about, I'm like, what are, like, or sometimes when people are on this twin flame journey, they're like a little bit like a delusional a little bit because they don't actually like get out there and realize that like, okay, pile number three, when people don't get out there enough, they tend to kind of latch onto the, the next best thing or the first thing that comes along. That's not a disrespect to people, but I feel sometimes that happens on people's spiritual journeys when they get a little stuck because they're like, I really like this person. But what I realized being a little bit more out and about now at this phase in my life or connecting with a lot of different people is that you can kind of have these strong, interesting, intense connections with a few people, platonic, friendship, this, that. It's like, that's more of a sign you're in alignment. So some people get stuck on the first strong connection and they're like, this is my twin flame. When in reality, that's just your first karmic. <laughs> We're just getting started here, you know, but that usually is that first step. And a lot of guys realize, oh wait, maybe that's not my twin flame because now I like this person. But anyway, pile number three, I feel like, um, like a lot of people who like who do relay those type of messages, that's their journey. So I'm not dissing or anything like that. But I do feel the pile number three, there is something spiritual about just getting out there and working the practical 3D, 4D, whatever dimension we're in, we're in 3D world. <laughs> Guys, I'm channeling so hard. Working the real world. Like there's something about being in the real world with real people, even people who aren't spiritual, people with different backgrounds, people with different nationalities. Something about that actually is a spiritual experience of itself. Like there's a lot of people that I'm friends with that are just literally, I go on and on and on about astrology and they're like, Hey, you know, Alice, like I love you to death, but I have no idea what you're talking about. And I'm like, haha. But then we change the subject to something else. Like your whole life doesn't have to revolve around a spiritual sacrifice. Does that make sense? Pound number three, it's almost like spiritual to go get out there and experience life. And I just feel like there's so many common misconceptions about what is a spiritual person or what is a spiritual path. Um, everybody's path is unique. Everybody has a different North node. Maybe you have North on the nine, North, North on the fifth. Like then that means that you're meant to travel, do things, go places, meet people, have fun, enjoy life. Like you're not meant to just sit at home all the time, or you're meant to learn new things, take on a new area of study, explore taboo. I'm even getting um, eighth house energy, explore taboo things, hidden things, mystical things. Some of you guys, like, it's almost like your, your taboo thing is coming out as spiritual and taking that step or talking to people about your spirituality. But anyway, um, the point I'm trying to say is what I feel is lacking is that sometimes people forget to just say, hey, get out there, you know? Stop focusing on this person. They're gonna come towards you anyway. Look at you guys. Like most of the time, the person you're focused on, like pile number two, I feel like a lot of you guys, like you like somebody, they're coming towards you regardless. Like a lot of you guys are worried about what you post. Like, will this person judge me? Will that person judge me? And so what if they do? If you post whatever you love, it will attract the right people towards you. Like that's what I'm saying, pile number three. Like some of you guys are thinking about, should I post this? 
post it, post it. Unless it's like, you know, nudity or something and you're gonna get banned on your account, you know, like don't do that. But you know, I'm just saying like, post what you want, do what you want during this time period. This is the shift. You're getting in touch with your true self. That's gonna bring you the most happiness, the best people. You're gonna come out of this, this phase of your life with, the, with friends for life because if you keep an open mind, you're gonna attract open-minded people. Anyways, oh, money is coming towards you guys too. Whoa, okay. And magic, yeah. I feel like during this time period, you guys are gonna get in touch with a gift that you didn't know you had. And like, kind of like me with the palm ring, like that set me on that path, you know? Like you guys are gonna get in touch with a gift and um, you're gonna become more self-aware. Um, you could also meet somebody that teaches you a new trick or two um, to make money. Like I can't, I, I can't even um, explain to you guys, but like I have gone on dates with somebody and it like had not worked out, but they taught me like something really valuable that like I took, took my whole life. Like messages are gonna come through people, through situations. The next step is gonna come. So I feel that there is going to be an epiphany that you have or a person or situation coming in here or just something you're gonna learn that you're going to use to make more money. Like it's gonna help you on your path. So if you feel like, it's almost like during this time period, it's like you guys are gonna feel drawn towards doing things that may not uh, like align with your end goals, but it's like something you wanna do and it's fun. Or you might take a study that you're like, how does this equate to my work? But you're attracted to doing that, so do it, you know? Pile number three, um, you guys are always focused. I feel like some of you guys have cancer in your chart too as well. Um, yeah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy coming in this pile, ha. Huh? Also Leo. Moon, 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 water signs are rising water signs. Uh, Sagittarius too. If you're a Sagittarius, you guys, like, if you're not letting your freak flag fly, then I don't know what you're doing. My Sagittarius are the number ones at this. I'm an Aquarius too, so don't get me wrong. But sometimes we get in our little, like, we get our little, like, I'm weird spells. I can't go outside, <laughs> you know? I'm too weird. Like, you guys get like that. Are you guys Aquarius also, like, or have Aquarius placements? Because we do get like that. Like, nobody gets me, <laughs> you know? But, you know, no one's going to get you 100%, but there is going to be people that do get aspects of you. You guys are complex, okay? And yeah, you... Pot number three, I feel like there's some people that think that you put a spell on them. Because I'm hearing, got a black magic woman. They're like, ooh, okay, pot number three. Again, I feel like you guys, some of you guys are really being out and about with, with the fact that you are into spirituality and all that type of stuff. And you're like, are they judging me? I think they're attracted to that, honestly. It's like a little bit of fear, but a little bit of like, ooh, I kind of like that, you know? Because like pile number three, the one thing I learned about people and like, you know, in and out of my life, in and out of my life, like I came out of my life, um, in and out of like different types of people going through these changes, people are just like kind of boring. Like I know that, <laughs> that's, so, that's so mean. Like you are do doing, you're different, you know? And that's attractive. Like different is attractive like to people, believe me. Like, you know, for some of us who grew up in like a sheltered area or town at first people are like what the heck but like later on people are going to see that as more valuable because after they lived the most of the, a lot of their life with the same old same old i'm hearing um post Malone. i've been in la too long i see the same bitches everywhere i go like that's how people feel like and then they meet someone like you and they're like whoa hold up wait a minute like so this is good that you're different that's what makes you attractive pal number three <laughs> the songs are so funny angels they crack me up oh my god two of pentacles um nine of swords yeah you guys are like okay you're like one is one foot in one foot out you're like i did it okay yeah i did it but then you're like oh, should i take it down like i'm getting that type of energy i posted it oh no should i take this down express yourself guys like people will love you more for that i'm hearing also mask off by future mask off mask off all right um we got the lovers here why is it the third time in a row pile number three everyone's love life is heating up maybe it's that venus cancer energy oh my gosh yeah uh, there's someone here that really likes you guys okay pile number three i feel like some of you guys like you feel this connection i'm also hearing like g easy um what the hell is that song him and i whatever that song like a little bit of a crazy connection coming in here but I feel like you and this person are gonna do something fun together, traveling or, or going out or doing something like, maybe like, you know, this is the type of connection you guys have. Love that. I feel like it's gonna be very like um, learning, very um, insp inspiring, like creatively for a lot of you guys. This person could have some kind of skill set too. <laughs> if you know what I mean, check out my 18 plus ratings. So I'm just kidding. Um, I wasn't even talking about that. I meant like to make money, but I immediately got like, heh, heh, hit him with that good, good. okay. Um, Knight of Pentacles, yeah. You guys are on the right path here, you know? So it's like, you, I feel as though, yeah, somebody really likes you guys though. Mm -hmm. Aw, aw. Let's use my um, uh, romance deck now available in my Etsy shop to see um, what is what is the dealio here. 
hope you're not with someone else maybe you guys are <laughs> this energy is crazy you guys are gonna you guys are gonna have a lot of admirers yeah pile number three enjoy okay you guys are glowing up and i feel like a lot of you guys are like wait i don't have to just have one <laughs> bad you guys are bad bad bitch bad bitch alert okay um i'm confused yeah pile number three somebody really likes you but either a they know someone else likes you or they think you have other options you're confusing them um yes <sighs> what is going on here you guys are in like such a fun energy though and i love that i feel like my, like this is this is it this is, this is the energy I, I live for now i will be back yeah someone really likes you but they're just super confused about the situation they're like well do they like me back pros and cons knight of pentacles this person i feel like they have a lot of anxiety over the situation i think you're hot <laughs> i miss you yeah someone's crazy about you guys right now let's see if we get a little bit more information about the person i feel with the twin flame thing it's like this person has never felt this way before like they're like what is this let me get a little bit more romance energy here because it's like yeah they were meant to kind of cross paths with somebody and if you haven't yet you're gonna have this like connection a strong connection coming in person could be a taurus virgo capricorn um what else i'm getting gemini libra Aquarius. i'm getting all signs honestly i can't even say because we got a lot of earth and um um yeah, honestly, yeah, anything. I think all signs are coming in. Like, I can't even, like, pinpoint it. But I'm going to pull my astrology deck just to see. Observe. Yeah, this person, I feel like you guys may know this person already. And you could tell they watch everything you do. They just don't know what to do. Um, also, you guys just seem like you got a lot of options here. Big goals. You're very attractive to a lot of people, pile number three, because you guys have so much big goals and a lot of great stuff going on. Like, you really can do it all, pile number three. I, like, Anyone that's like, oh, if you go out, you're going to be distracted. That's them. That's their problem. Not you guys. You guys get right back on that horse. You got a lot of blessings coming in too. Free will. Yeah, you guys got options too. Journal. I feel like you have actually more than one person interested in you. But I feel like you guys do like one person in particular right now. They do like you and they're observing you. They're going to come towards you the more you just do you. Like that's honestly it. When you are doing what you love, you are at your most attractiveness. Don't even worry about what you post or do they like it? Do they not like it? They like anything that you they're watching right they're watching you i do feel like you guys are oh true love come to me i knew that there was going to be a love card coming out yeah true love come to me you guys are manifesting like love but in return it's like a few people who may think that you're their soulmate because you guys are like in this like really powerful manifesting energy you guys may be using like that yeah this person could be um coming to you in your dreams too or you may see them in your dreams a lot like it's mutual whatever it is that you guys have been thinking about it's mutual and if you haven't been thinking about anybody there's like this is a time like get out there and get some people date around like yeah like you guys like should not worry do they like me no you guys should worry about the people that like you because like you got eyes on you i'm worried about them they may never recover from this <laughs> from meeting someone like you guys like oh my gosh authenticity because you guys are raw you're real you're authentic you're spiritual like, come on, who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't want that? You like, you guys are like wifey material, but also fun. Like, I heard, don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Some of these people are like, I'm bored, you know? I'm being savage, but pile number three, I feel like you guys like, let your, you guys have this, you drop these knowledge bombs on people. You're just not one way. You keep people guessing. Safe travel. Again, if you are considering traveling, two, 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 you could meet someone traveling or someone could want to travel to you. I also see as well, um, if you guys are going on new adventures, you may be a little bit cautious where your protection stones, but your angels are blessing you with, yes, connect with new people. Buddy system though, guys, if you're going out new places and stuff or do sort of research, don't be like, don't be silly, but trust your intuition. Like when you would walk into a room and stuff as well. Uh, but I feel like you guys are getting blessed with just like this protection over you to go new places, try new things, meet new people. A lot of you guys are nervous to go on dates because stranger danger, text a friend, let them know where you're at. Take your safety precautions. I'm not saying go, you know, the balls to the wall like you know tr have full faith in the universe here but i am saying that like you this is the time to get out there and, and 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 just connect you know like this is what i'm saying we got scorpio energy here so you could be dealing with the scorpio i told you i got okay first house and third house okay yeah new friends coming in as well maybe you'd be hanging out with a scorpio friend or yeah or a water sign friend too um we got virgo and gemini again coming in at the fourth house here cancer energy I, you guys may have cancer or you guys may have a rising water sign so it's like a little bit harder for you to push yourself out out of your comfort zone i get it i'm cancer rising but when i actually went and did it i felt good about it let's get some last advice for my beautiful pile number three people because we are long overdue your selflessness is recognized yeah pile number three 
you've been self-sacrificing. You've been doing everything for people. Even I feel like when you go out with people, you're the mom friend. Like you just need to do something you enjoy. Like, you know, some of you guys do have kids. So like you want to just have a night to yourself. That's okay. Like, don't feel bad about that. You need that to, to create the balance in your life. You are ignoring a blessing. The blessing is like that you guys can enjoy your life in the present, you know? Yes, this is a part of your destiny and trust your gut. So again, pile number three, during this time period, you may be drawn towards a strange person, situation, love affair. I'm not saying have an affair. Someone's married, don't do it, pile number three. You don't need that karma and negativity. But complicated relationships, interesting dynamics, different cultures, jumping into something new, experimenting, whatever. Trying a new, opening only fans. I don't know, whatever guys. Check out my 18 plus if you're interested in my uh, readings. Uh, check me out on Instagram if you're interested in just seeing me, but I'm not I'm not going Nikki on there. But hey, you never know what what direction my career might take. I don't hate, <laughs> but I'm just saying, pile number three. <laughs> pile number three, I just, I feel like your, your knowledge is sexy too. So you guys, like whatever it is you feel drawn to do, go ahead and do it if you really feel like it's the right choice for you. And then don't let anyone else influence you, but... That's the main message I have for you guys. This was a really interesting one. I really love that. Enjoy your day, night, evening. And what's changing in you guys is that you are embracing some aspect of yourself. And in return, it's going to bring you happiness. And stop caring what people think, pile number three. That's not the way to your destiny, okay? And also, this person that you like, they like you too. And they're coming towards you as well as a bunch of other people. And honestly, don't be afraid to do the post whatever and do whatever. Because that's what makes you you. And you want people to like you for you. And I see a few energies coming at you, but one person in particular, it's got their eyes on you. All right, guys, thank you so much. And again, you got your big goals. You're going to hit them. It's okay to take a break from time to time. If anything, you guys are probably going to be balancing that and whatever else that you want to get started on or do or have fun. And you can, you truly can work hard, play hard. Okay, pile number three. And don't forget to rest too as well. But I feel a lot of energy coming to you guys, honestly. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this reading. And I will see you guys all next week. Bye, guys. Okay, pile number four. I had to pull like a few more cards to get a little bit more clarity on this, but it looks like you guys are letting go of like these beliefs in yourself and it's like ascending you like crazy. I also feel as well that you guys are going to get a lot of energy coming towards you too. Very interesting, pile number four. I actually feel like you let go of somebody from your past and they were having like this energetic hold on you and it actually was affecting your, your gifts and your talents because it's like their energy was like, holding you down a little bit or a few people and it was like black not like a black cloud almost or like 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 just blocking your third eye a little bit just because like the energy was kind of so heavy but you guys like I feel like you guys are gonna like like feel like your head's in the clouds a little bit because you're getting rid of all this toxic energy and it's just really great also pile number four you're you're you're, you're gonna glow up here um also just confidence um I'm seeing as well that you guys are being encouraged to go on and get out there and get your flirt on, okay? Um, things are really good for you guys. I feel like you may not feel like that, but with the mystery here, it's like the universe wants to keep a lot of things still a mystery from you, which is really annoying, but I feel like you guys are unlocking these magical gifts that you didn't even know you had. And part of it is because you're letting go of these energies of people that are holding you back. Yeah a lot in the past pile number four like a lot of people ruined your peace like and you're just not letting that happen anymore so pile number four what shift is happening you're moving towards inner peace which in return is unlocking this like ability in you that you didn't even know you had so i see you guys realizing a gift that you didn't know you had it's gonna look different for everybody but with the surrender here it's like you guys surrender you're starting to surrender things you can't control and when that happens you really become in your in your uh, manifesting power um, pile number four. Let's see what else. We got joy and divine guidance. Yeah. You guys are going to start enjoying life again because you're going to feel really in touch with the angels, with your divine guidance by walking away from people in situations that were draining you from your energy. So pile number four, we got the star here again, which could, it's definitely an aspect of yourself. So you guys are these really like amazing, inspirational, talented people. What happens sometimes, and when you have this light to you, people will latch themselves onto you because they need that energy for themselves. But the problem is that the, when those people stop giving back to you or they take all your energy or on top of it, they um, never actually make a change in their life. And I call them stuck people. So you had a lot of like stuck people stuck to you or an ex or whatever or, or fling or friends and they were just draining you. And now that you've rid yourself of all those energies, you may be feeling called to do that right now, surrender, let go of some people you're gonna feel this like really magical shift and it's gonna give you inner peace. At first, pile number four, you're gonna feel a little bit crazy. Like you're gonna feel a little bit stressed because you're gonna feel the energy of these people 
like, oh man, I don't have that energy access anymore. Because um, pile number four, you may have not known this, but there's a lot of people maybe in the past that still have a hold on you. So pile number four, you may be drawn in this time period to do some cord cutting, um, cut people off, actually block random people on your Instagram, whatever you feel called to do, like don't give people access to you. Just don't, you know, because you guys are precious and it's like you can keep going with, with all this energy on you, but you can thrive even more without it. So the shit that's happening for you guys is you're gonna feel joy and happiness again because you're letting go of toxic people because they're not they're not um, dedicated to becoming happy. It's almost like they're stuck in cycles and it's like, it's affecting you because you guys are empaths. Like I have this um, channel message that came from another reading that said that pain is not yours. You guys have been carrying a lot of people's pains and burdens. You got your own problems. You don't need to be doing that and you can, but it's like, why, you know? When you can use this energy towards going up a step, a spiritual ladder, and you guys are going up on the spiritual ladder, which, yay, I love this. All right, let's see what other aspects of your life are shifting and changing. You're shifting, you're changing, got the chariot. See with the chariot here, you guys are constantly moving forward in life, and it's like, you you didn't let these people stop you, but it definitely was pretty exhausting. Like, I'm seeing 10 of wands in my intuition too as well. Very exhausting for you guys, but now it's like you're gonna be full speed ahead because it's like you don't have energy of people bothering you. I remember I had it my, ugh. Guys, the things that I've gone through in the background of this that you guys have no idea, but I try to share with you guys some of my stories. Ah, my first ex is so toxic, and like I met this ex right before I created my YouTube channel. We were very on and off, very toxic, but we all got to go through that. Very karmic indeed. This mother effer would 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 freaking call me when I'm trying to in between doing my readings like 50 times, and I'm like it would ruin my focus so much. And so it's like, yes, I got the readings done. Yes, I focused, but it wouldn't be so much better not to be interrupted. I got to put my phone on do not disturb because this person was just crazy. Shout out if you're watching. You crazy mother. mother. <laughs> not in my life anymore. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the, the thing I'm trying to say is that like behind the scenes, I go through stuff too. You know, like I'm not judging you guys. Like I know this because I've gone through it. And these stuck people look very different. They come in many shapes and forms. They come as exes. They come as friends, family members. Yes, you can call me, but don't call me every day. And don't call me with the same problems. Call me again when you when you have a new problem, at least. Okay? Like, that's the thing. Like, I'm just getting people, like, they're just in the same, same old, same old. Like, and you're like, ah, I don't want to listen to it anymore. This is good. That means you're changing. Mercury. Yeah. I see you guys kind of telling some people off, too. I'm not even going to lie. Like, eh, uh, no, goodbye. Or you have been. If you have been doing that, this is causing a shift. Uh, we got Capricorn energy here too as well, Mars, and we got Cancer. Yeah, see, Capricorn and Cancer are both very dedicated energies. Like, you guys are just dedicated a lot to the people you love. So I feel as though that's why you also fell into a lot of this because you were like, I want to see you. I want... Ugh. I had a boss one time, I used to, do, I, I talked about doing sales or whatever. I never really had a mentor, but when I did this one sales job, like... I had like a mentor-ish, and I just always remember some of the things this person said to me because they do always ring true. I mean, I don't know where this person's at now, and he had his issues, God bless him. But he always said, Allison, I keep dropping my, you guys I know I'm Allison, okay? That's my real name. But my, but I go by Alice on, online because I just don't like people having like access to, like finding out my real name. I'm a little bit secretive, but anyway, every time I tell a story, I gotta like, I gotta dedicate the, the realness in there. But. He said to me, you can't want things for people more than you want them for yourself, for themselves. And that always strikes me as like something that I kind of always carried. Like I want people to succeed and do well more than they want it from themselves. And that's sad, but like they'll always come to you like with their problems and stuff, but they never actually want to make changes because they don't really want to change or grow. They just want to drain you. Like, and I had to come to that realization. They don't really want it. That's why they're not doing it. You know, they don't really want to change. That's why they're not changing. So it's like, I gotta, even again, I always fall into those patterns of wanting things for people because it's like the Cancer energy, you know, and the Capricorn energy. I'm, I'm a rising Cancer, I'm Venus Capricorn. I don't really get involved with a lot of people, but when I do have a soft spot for somebody, I want nothing more than to see them thrive and succeed. But I'd rather sit here and listen to you, I mean, help you guys and listen to you guys than listen to another one of those people trying to bring, drain, drain my energy because my energy is so, so much more valuable when I'm sitting here with you guys who are dedicated to doing the work and growing. So it's almost like, don't think of it as like, oh my God, I feel so bad like that I can't help them. Think of it as like, oh my God, if I shift my energy in a different direction, I can help so much more people or I can find someone else that can actually use my guidance and my wisdom. Anyways, shout out to the little, um, the little um, lessons I learned through people. Like, because in that, in that job, like... <laughs> It is crazy, that crazy times, but I always take the little bit of lessons and learning. And I had like a little bit of a mentorship role with people, but I wanted things for people more than they wanted them for themselves. And that 
that's kind of like you guys can have Aquarius in your chart too because that's a very Aquarian thing like like we just want everyone to do well and thrive and um unfortunately upon the report too sometimes when you bring up people around you they start to see you as competition and try to bring you down so another thing I learned in my life I'm just gonna share with you guys like I'm gonna I stopped mentoring people on a close level because it's just like at first it's fun it's great they love you but then they start gunning for you it's like I don't understand why people are like this I want you to do well I want to do well so on and so forth so pile number four i feel like you guys are done with that energy too you're like okay i'm gonna stop taking people under my wing if they don't appreciate it or at least charge them a hefty price for it because you guys got this energy where you can lift and help and inspire some of you guys are like healers personal trainers teachers mentors or this is the energy you take with you believe me before i even had any kind of you know business revolving around that i've always had stuff people on me <laughs> i've always had like the codependence you know and it's also an aspect of yourself that you love to give and nurture but you can feed that into yourself in your career and it will benefit you a lot more um pound number four that's what you guys are doing anyways you guys say you love when i tell stories so i try not to overshare but uh oh well i am who i am aries cancer and capricorn okay so scorpio okay mm yeah some of you guys may know someone with one of these signs uh that may try to um come back into your life let's see we got virgo too as well yeah you guys let go of a friend i'm hearing more friendship you guys may have let go of a friend and they're, they're trying to come back into your life now pile number four there's really like nothing you could do to prevent it but i do see that a lot of you guys are kind of done with this person bless your heart oh angels are like you guys are such good people like you guys were not wrong like don't feel guilty you were not wrong to cut off this person or situation because i'm getting a lot of guilt or you guys are harboring some kind of guilt for like letting go or saying no you guys done a, you did you did what you had to do you've done enough you try to help but they don't want to change pile number four i'm telling you they don't want to change be gentle with yourself um yeah during this time period you guys are shifting where people are realizing they don't have access to you the same way they used to anymore and you guys are getting this insight like you've seen people for what they are and it's like the you know it's that it's your time to, to change years pile number four i'm also seeing as well that you guys may have picked a different pile because i feel like this is gonna like lead you into a different shift as well like this the letting go of people is gonna like it's gonna lead you into a different shift and letting go and now having this new awareness of like oh i've seen this type of person before it took me a lot of narcissistic traits people to get to this point pile number uh, four so don't even be mad at yourself that you fall into it because it happens to me all the time i'm like damn it another one this society has bred so much narcissism it's crazy everyone's just out for themselves good for themselves lack mentality we gotta fight each other girls versus girls even men that i dated in competition with me jesus christ when does it end sorry i don't use the lord's name in vain i actually do have a jesus candle lit He's here uh, supporting us today. But <laughs> I was just like, no, sorry. Sorry, Jesus. Okay, but <laughs> all the angels did. I'm too much. They're like, Alice, let's just get back to the reading. Make time for self-care. Yes. Right now is all about you, boo. But yeah, are these people going to try to come back? Yeah, of course they are. Because your energy, you are a light worker. You're a healer. Your energy is like drugs to these people. Like, it's it feels so good. It's addicting. I also came to the realization, and this is like a really sad realization, but... Some of the most toxic people are the people that will fight to stay in your life the hardest. I used to think that was like love, but actually it's lack of respect and boundaries. Like, you know, if you tell someone to F off and they keep coming in and trying to talk to you, no, that's not love. That's, that's, that's just something else. Um, justice, yeah. You guys, okay, so you guys did the right thing with the justice card here. And also some of you guys just feel like really wronged by someone right now. The universe is taking care of it. Let go, forgive, heal, you know. I know I get all worked up all the time when I get mad at somebody. I'm like, why did they do this to me? I'm not asking why anymore. I'm just like, you know what? That's on you. You want to be like that? That's on you. I've tried my hardest to help so many people and I try to be the best I can be. Not everybody is going to be like that, but you guys, like I could do and sit here and you guys can listen to me and this is a magical thing because you are like the me's in the world, you know? Like sometimes in your circle or in your friend group or with people around you, they're not, you guys are meant to be that person that influences people positively. So if you can't find the light, be the light. But if people are not making any shifts to change or grow, now is the time to really just say bye 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 because the more you do that, the more you're going to shift your own reality into the right, the people that are going to enjoy learning from you and vice versa you can learn from them as well maybe you may even attract a mentor or someone that you can learn and grow from um pile number four yeah there's just huge shifts happening a few people are going to try to come back you can do what you want here queen of wands um pile number four i'm really sensing a jealous friend here honestly you guys are um really becoming successful 
beautiful, talented. Some of you guys, this is, a, this is an ex that was in their feminine energy. I'm not even gonna lie to you about it, but look, we got romance here too as well. A lot of people are, uh, okay, so pile number four, there's a jealous, uh, if you guys are feminine, it's a feminine energy. If you guys are masculine, it's a, a masculine energy with feminine energy. Does that make sense? Or some of you guys, it's like both, you know, it doesn't really matter. But you guys are coming into your power. And I do sense for problem number four, you guys did do some kind of change to your appearance. Or you guys are taking care of yourself better, which does reflect upon better appearance, you know, just taking more time on your hair, on yourself, facials, whatever. Or you guys are just working on spending more time to yourself or cutting people off. It makes you look better when you get rid of toxic people. I know that sounds crazy, but when I was involved with toxic ex, people were like, yeah, you don't look so good. Like, they're honest, but I was like, I wasn't looking my best, you know? Or sometimes when I'm around toxic people, I stress, I'm um, waking, whatever, you know? I just feel like that's just what happens energetically. Your body is just like in like fight or flight mode. Like, Lee, like get away from me and you're still in it, you know? But anyway, pile number four, there's a feminine energy here that is jealous of you glowing because you are choosing yourself. Ever since you left a certain relationship, job, situation, you glowed. And some of you guys did actually do something to your parents. You, you have been shifting your appearance maybe through subliminals. Check out my subliminal channel, link in bio. But also, um, <laughs> shameless promotion. But also, um, you know, through actually physically doing something. You physically did something to your peers that made you confident and happier in yourself. And they're super jealous about it. Eh, like, it's crazy how jealous they are. Um, this person could be a Leo Sag or Aries, Virgo. It uh, doesn't matter. They could, a Scorpio, uh, a Capricorn. And... Uh, Pound number four, I'm a girl. I really am for the women. Like, uh, but it's just like women versus women. Uh, I hate that. It's like, it's, I hate that it's like this, you know? It sucks, but like someone is, someone does not want to stand next to you anymore, pile number four, because they can't handle the fact that you are shining. And I feel for you guys, is if you did already cut off or are planning on cutting off someone like this, you'll see the signs, okay? Um, And pile number four, there is more to come. Just be careful around certain people because you guys look good, you feel good. But, you know, making friends may be a little bit difficult just going through this transition because it's like, it's not about looks, pile number four, but it's like something about you shines, you know, and you got to know that. But I do feel that you guys also look very good and it's like kind of challenging for people to stand next to you. <laughs> pile number four, I swear, I mean it, I mean it, I mean it, okay? You guys may not see it because at the end of the day, you're humble, you're great people, but... You have to be around people that are also confident in themselves. You can't bring up people that are deeply insecure because it will, ref it will, they will turn on you. They will turn on you. It has happened to me, Paul, number four. I'm like, come on, girls. Let, let's, like, I was, like, I remember that I was um, living with, uh, I can't even talk, like, like, uh, okay, I will not give specifics because I know some people watch my videos or whatever, but, like, I was around these girls, like, and they were, like, looking in the mirror, oh, I'm fat, I'm ugly, no, I'm ugly, no, I'm fat, and I'm, like, I looked in the mirror, I'm, like, I think I look good today, they looked at me like I had six heads, like, they were gonna cut off my head, I was, like, what, guys, like, what are you doing, like, you know, why are you self-hating like this, and it wasn't, like, you know, I don't care what you look like, what your size is, and nothing, I don't care about any of that, if you don't feel good about yourself, and people who don't feel good about themselves, they usually are the most toxic people there is. Like, it is what it is because they feel inferior to most people and they don't feel like an equal. And people feel that way, that's on them. And anyway, pile number four, that's kind of your sign. Like, you may have empathy or care about these people who try, who are like, I, I hate myself, I'm ugly. Well, like, do something about it then. Stop complaining about it because this is what you got. This is how you guys are. You don't like something, you fix or change it. And if you can't, you don't complain about it. Or if you don't want to, come complain about it. And again, pile number four, it doesn't matter like what size you are, what you look like. You have something about you where you're comfortable in yourself and your energy and your gifts. And you have this confidence. And people are just jealous of that too as well. So pile number four, anyway, the point I say is that like there is energies like these type of people around you. Separate yourself from them, please, because it's like you will feel it. And it's like you they won't even let you have a good day. You know, that's the problem. Like they won't let you feel yourself because they don't feel themselves. And that's kind of a big deal. Like problem for uh i'm frustrated because i've gone through so many of these type of people and i've tried to help them like too or like be good to them and like they're the first they're the first people to sleep with your your boyfriend or backstab you or whatever you know i didn't think i didn't say that happened to me thank god <laughs> luckily for me i don't choose those type of men but hey I, you know i don't i don't i wouldn't knock any one of these people for trying <laughs> not that they could you know Alice is in a league of her own. No, I'm kidding around. But anyway, like, they would be turned off. Those people are turned off by, like, my confidence in myself, which took so much time to build. Like, I was talking about this in, was it pile number two? Tired of being kicked down, put down, treated like garbage. I, I, I became this person because I don't want to be put down anymore. I don't want to be treated like garbage anymore. I want to be around people that care about me. I don't want to be around people that will backstab me or talk shit about me for the, because they're jealous. Like, what is that? 
but I'm not questioning. I'm in this new energy. I'm not questioning why people are toxic or negative. I just moved past it. So pile number um, four, if somebody is being like this to you, just move past it, please. And get around the right people with a tower moment here. Okay. Yeah. And again, we do have like an X energy too, as well. Like someone from your past that's realizing that you are just, well, you are just too good for them now. And they're, they're going to try to come back to, oh, God damn it. Pile number four. All right. Three of cups. Also, someone in your friend zone has a crush on you guys. That's another message coming through. Someone likes you guys. Oh, that's cute. Pile number four. Someone in your friend zone likes you. Whether or not you want to do anything with it, that's whatever. A, a lot of people like you guys, pile number four. And again, you have a lot of guy friends, pile number four, because you do kind of deal with this type of energy. And then, um, yeah, then, uh, yeah, they all have crushes on you. Because <laughs> you are, you are that person. Sorry, pile number you're, you're just sexy, okay? Like I just say. Or your women friend have crushes on you if you're a man or if you're, uh, you know, homosexual or straight, whatever. People like you, even if you are straight women like you, if you're straight men like, it doesn't matter. People like you, pile number four. Embrace that. Don't be ashamed or dim yourself down because of it. And honestly, like, I also have TikTok and I don't necessarily agree with it because people were saying, oh, that... You know, all like pretty privileged thing. People like, oh, but you're pretty and it, it opens doors for you or whatever. Yes, that's true. Like, I believe that is true in an extent. But also like people who are attractive also get like attacked a lot, <laughs> you know, energetically because of jealousy and stuff too. And like people don't really want to talk about that because they just want to hate and they don't want to admit that like people go through the most struggle. Uh, I also saw as well for pile number four that like sometimes like really pretty people they don't even know it because they've been put down by so many people in their life. And also on top of it, isolated because nobody wants to invite you out because they're afraid their boyfriend or girlfriend is going to flirt with you but that's on the boyfriend or girlfriend but nobody wants to take accountability to make change pile number four so it's like don't let anybody shame you out of like feeling like you're left out because maybe people are jealous of you that's okay to acknowledge it within yourself because that will also keep you on a low vibration if you are constantly dimming your light for other people or you know you got to get around if you Sometimes you gotta get around some bad bitches, pile number four, because if you get around people who don't feel like they're a bad bitch, then they're gonna they're gonna try to they're gonna try to bring you down. Anyway, pile number four, this is things, lessons learning, and again, it's not about looks, it's about confidence, the way you carry yourself, and you wanna get to that next level. You can't be around people that are constantly just staying the same, complaining about things and trying to bring you down. But anyway, there's a lot of there's a lot of jealousy there because people see you as um competition, pile number four. Um, that's really what's coming through. Um, all right, let's see what else is going on here. And yeah, you're going to get some unnecessary hate because of it. Guys, I, I, I believe this is true because I've invested a lot like into subliminals, myself, self-work, losing weight, self-care, hair, makeup, nails. Like I put this effort in myself because I was an overgiver, you know? And ever since I kind of invested in myself in this way, like certain friends don't want to be around me. Girls are mean to me out of nowhere and this has never happened in my lifetime Maybe once in a blue but lately I've been like I definitely get people being nasty toward I'm like, oh what the heck like I'm, I'm working on myself Like I thought I looked good today, you know, but anyway, it's because people like to see you as competition now like before they you know And that's the, another thing too about kind of bringing up the insecure people or trying to help them or work on themselves First, they look at you like a mentor, and then they see you as competition. So I'd say be careful with those type of relationships. Try to meet people that you feel are, like, you know, successful, because it could be about your success, too. Some of you guys stepped foot into a lot of success, and that's why. Some of you guys, like, you know, try to find people who have good things going on that they're happy with, that they're passionate with, that are happy with the way they look, that they're passionate about that. Everybody has insecurities, but I feel for pile number four. You guys are humble, and you're great. Like, you're not this, like, like sometimes you're, like, wonder, am I coming across, like, cocky or something? You're not. Like, people just... This is a jealous. This woman is looking like, eh, like, just just some jealous people out there, and that's their nature. It has nothing to do with you. If they're not hating on you, they're hating on the next one. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to sit around and talk and gossip and talk down to other women. I will, ne I will never be that person. I will never be that person. Social media detox, yeah. Uh, yeah, pod number four, it's like you guys are posting you look good and there's a lot of je there's a lot of jealousy here. Give less fucks about it, yeah, uh, honestly. And you are leveling up. Don't, who cares? You're well leveling up looks wise, career wise, da da da. da. It's, yeah, and if people want to stay, it's funny because they like, they want to, they want to hate, but they also want to be in, in your circle, which is eh, whatever. So, you know, you'll sense those type of energies and it's completely fine. Like, but boundaries, pile number four, if you can't get rid of them. But again, you got like somebody in your friend zone that has a crush on you. I feel like they're going to make a move. Every song reminds me of you. They're in their feelings about you. I'm planning on messaging you soon. Yeah. This is somebody I feel like you guys may like back or you may have an idea. They're going to message you soon or connect with you soon. So I feel as though that is kind of a sign. But anyway, pile number four, what is changing in your life? 
basically you are leveling up and I feel like people are going to be treating you different, good and bad. You're going to get a lot of attention. I feel as though you're getting rid of people that were draining you. So you are looking good. And in return, they're even more mad because you're looking good. So stay wary of that. If you cut someone off, you made the right decision. And I also feel pile number four, pick another pile because there's another shift happening because of all this work that you're doing on yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Yeah. Don't doubt that you're good looking either, pile number four, because you are. You're doing a good job and distance yourself from toxicity. You guys are doing a good job distancing yourself from this toxicity. So keep it up and there's nothing wrong with you. It's just this, it's just like, they're just not like spiritually the way that you are. And you know what? To each their own, pile number four. I'm, I, you know, I can rant all, six ways to Sunday, but we got the three of wands here. Look, look at your future. Don't look at your past. Like I know people have done things that have hurt you, said things, try to bring you down turned on you all and like so on and so forth it makes you sad i get it but the future is bright for you guys i know like this three of wands looks like a, a like a whirlwind like and someone's getting caught in a black hole like not the best imagery the the traditional one does it justice but i kind of feel like this represents like the stuck people like they're like black holes that'll suck you in so you guys are like waiting for your ships to come in but you got to go around them you know like i'm using it to my benefit here we got the six of swords like you guys are moving past all this stuff and you're gonna make it to the other side where there's gonna be great new people situations and all that stuff. Clearing negativity. Full circle, guys, you're gonna discover new gifts because you're clearing negative energy from your aura. And I feel as though you're getting empowered again because you got rid of these stuck people that just wanna latch onto you because honestly, pile number four, you guys are, um, I really wanna say you're beautiful inside and out and you're destined for success. And I really wanna say that about you. And I don't care, I don't care if you don't believe it. That's just probably what other people have said to bring you down or people don't want to compliment you because they're jealous of you. <laughs> but I'm not jealous of you guys. I love you guys. Okay? I will tell you the truth. Those are some hating ass bitches. Okay? Good for them though. Good for you guys. You know, like, what? Good for you. Good for you for moving past that, that bullshit. Because you're leveling up and they're staying the same. And the sad part is they can level up too. But they choose not to. They rather... Why me? Why her and not me? Well... Don't be that. You know, you'll never see a successful person sitting around hating. If they are doing that, they're probably not as successful as what they say that they are. I don't hate. I just vent about the things in the world. I just do not understand. But, hey, you know what? I think it just comes with that new level of spiritual awareness. We see the energy of what hate, hating does to yourself and others. So why would, we, why would we do that, right? Anyways, last but not least, pile number five. Let's get right into it because this has been a long reading. I'm having so much fun with you guys today. Pound number five, how's it going? Let's see what's up with my pound number five people. Oh man, okay. This is like the biggest shift pile like out of all of them. Best for last because a door is opening up for you guys. A door is opening up that's gonna change your life or you're opening the door yourself. You're like, I'm just walking right through this bitch, okay? But like pile number four, your life is changing for the better. And I feel as though, oh yeah, financially, I'm hearing luxuries, okay? Okay, 10th house, 11th house, connections. Okay, yeah, pile number five. Are you guys working on like networking maybe? Or someone wants to network with you guys? Or I feel like you guys are gonna like expand somehow or jump into something new that's gonna bring you into like a, <laughs> I don't know why I heard this, but a, a new tax bracket. Okay, angels, <laughs> you talk, you're gonna talk about money. What you saying to me? Okay, uh, we got denial. You guys are in denial that you are this like bougie, bougie ass destined to be great ass person okay but now you're opening that door and you're realizing that you you can be this person very lucky you guys are very lucky i see the koi fish there which really represents that you guys are learning how to be fluid you know um riding the waves of life like part of being successful is riding the wave and knowing when to jump off and hop on a new wave does that make sense pile number four because you know one thing that may work for you at one point may not work for you in the next spot you know so it's like you guys are always in this constant change of growth constant state of growth and learning which you know which is going to lead you to success um because staying stuck is never a good thing um pile number five i actually see like you guys hitting financial goals this year like some of you guys want to buy a house or change location you guys are building an empire and you're going to be you're going to find the way to it some of you guys are like how alice or some of you guys are in that planning mode you're in that like you know that well focused like i'm going to go out there and get that bread energy some of you guys are like well i want to but i don't know where to start i feel like you're just going to know you're going to open the door and it's going to be like the floodgates of the next chapter and i really see you guys living in luxury at some point in your life so you're headed there that tours I'm hearing that 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 is bad and bougie. I'm trying not to curse, Ugh, guys. We got uh, five of swords here, hmm. Knight of swords and four of pentacles. Yeah, 
you guys don't even realize that you are super abundant and you're destined for that. So if you feel like holding on to your money right now and stressing, don't even because there is a miracle on the way regarding your finances, regarding your lifestyle even. And you're just going to know the right step to take. Like a lot of you guys are like you envision this or you have this visualization for your life of like life you want to live. And you're like, is it my imagination that I think I could be that person? Some of you guys are getting TikToks on your page that's saying you're gonna be like wealthy. Are you guys getting those? <laughs> I know some of you guys are getting those. That's a sign from your angels. Like, no, nah, you're meant to be big money here, psychic protection. I feel like you got, a lot of you guys are meant to like break like generational like curses or generational, not curses, generational like blockages about finances. Like, like a lot of you guys, you don't come from money. Like, and you know, your family had to work and hustle or in your past life, you had to work and hustle. So in this life, you're gonna be like infinite abundance type of vibe. Or some of you guys just like, some of you guys, you do have money, you do come from money, but you, you, you lack like the belief that you can get your own, you know, like, and I feel like this is, this is your sign that you could, like you're meant to make your own waves in the world. I really feel like building an empire, pile number five, like you want to make your mark in the world and build an empire and you're going to do it. And you're making the shifts right now to make that happen. I'm hearing some of you guys want to own real estate too. Cause I'm hearing with the home or this or that, like some of you guys really want to like, with the four pentacles, you want to like have like um, assets, you know, like I'm hearing assets are own things like, you know, and I'm seeing this happening for you guys and you're probably moving in that direction or some of you guys, uh, sugar daddy or some of you guys, you're going to meet somebody that's going to lead you in that direction or a teacher or a mentor or uh, even like a, you know, a lover. We'll see. We got energy here. Yeah, you guys are just going to know the right steps like to take in this direction. It's just going to happen. So you're shifting so that you can become like more financially stable so some of you guys may have also been attracted to pile number four because i was talking about how when people are stuck to you you lack the energy but you guys got rid of a lot of people and you're surrounding yourself with the right people people who are motivated driven abundant and that's going to bring more abundance into your life you are really who you surround yourself with i know that sounds so shallow but it also is the truth in a non-shallow way if you're around gossipy complaining not getting anywhere stuck people guess what you may not be stuck but it's going to be a lot of energy to climb out of that hole that you got sucked into a Tuesday night um, game night. No, I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> Who has game nights on Tuesdays? Um, letting go. And again, it's like like people like judge like the actions. Like you can like, oh, going to... I was talking about this in pile number three also. Like, oh, going out is bad. No, going out with the wrong people is bad. It's about your circle and who you surround yourself with. Everybody has different hobbies and things they like to do in life. Like she, like too much judgment on this planet. Everyone needs to just like worry about themselves. Um, we got health here. Yeah, you guys are focusing on your health. Um, Pound number five, I feel like you guys do wanna make a shift because you work so hard and it's affecting your health. So you wanna be able to make a shift where you can generate income easily. So I'm seeing you guys being able to do that, like passive income for some of you guys. Like I'm really seeing you guys level up in that way. We got the justice here. And I feel as well with karma, like good karma, like there's gonna be an opportunity coming that you guys earned. Yeah, this is like, I feel like it's just going to flow to you guys. Like, I'm trying to get more answers about what. You guys are very psychically protected. Pound number five as well. You guys were a victim of some psychic attacks probably because I'm seeing this or you're nervous that like you may not get there because of all this energy of people trying to bring you down or whatever. But you are highly protected and you're destined to do this. So don't even worry about it. By the way, pound number five, you guys are beautiful some of you guys invested a lot of time and effort into your appearance and it's definitely paying off too like i feel like you guys really leveled yourself up and you are going to keep leveling up don't you forget it there's a huge blessing on the way so pound number five this is like kind of like a huge shift happening but there's going to be a blessing coming and it's going to be very specific to your situation but it's going to open a door for you so it's either like you're going to know what door to open or some door is going to be or an opportunity is going to come and it's going to bring you a blessing and and i feel like this is going to transform your life i'm hearing hey little mama i could transform you yeah and i feel like the universe wants to bless you guys with this like you're, you're opening up this new door and i feel as well you guys are letting go you're forgiving like, you're not, like, holding on to things in the past. Like, you know, why did this happen to me? It's more like, this made me powerful. This made me the person I am today. And I'm going to go out there and get it. Get that bread. Get that bread. Get that head and leave. Peace out. Um, That's what I'm hearing. Because, like, there's no more victim mentality here, Found number five. You guys are, I'm hearing millionaire, millionaire mindset. You guys are probably working on that type of stuff. Romance. And I feel like there's going to be a soulmate joining you on this mission here. Or a few, you know. Romance is coming in for you guys, too. I really feel as though if this is not coming from a soulmate influencing it, then it's like on this next level, there's a soulmate there for you. Like a lot of you guys are like, why am I like, like the people you're dating are just not on your level. It's because you are 
I feel like you guys are destined to be like like living a luxury life, like or at least abundant, like not struggling. All right, feminine. Yeah, somebody. Okay, forgive and blessings and transforming. Yeah, you guys are transforming into like this like really beautiful divine person, and I feel it's like you've always been that. But it's like you're getting in touch with your feminine side or your masculine side. So, sh shout out to my dudes. I did not forget about you guys. Okay. Yeah, I know you're here. Hi. Alice, nice to meet you. But anyways, I see that. Um, <laughs> I always joke around. I feel like the men that are here are like have a good sense of humor because you are a minority here. Um, we got the feminine, the blessings, forgiveness, and a transforming. Okay, yeah. You guys are letting go of your past. And I'm like, also, file number five, I feel like you guys are forgiving yourself for accepting less than you deserve. Because part of you, you didn't know. Like, you're like, it, of course you would like live the life of your wildest dreams if you knew you could do that. Why would I be stuck with this person who's bringing me down or like complaining about money all the time or being cheap with me oh the kiss of death pile number five uh, i don't like cheap men if you guys are interested in me romantically tip please don't be cheap with me i hate cheap i like i like large i like gifts my love language is gifts <laughs> my mars leo no but i'm kidding around pile number five i like somebody who is like can hustle with me inspire with me not in competition with me it doesn't matter about the money but if you're naturally both in that element of growing and changing and expanding you're both going to be abundant like that's just the universe allows that you know what i mean pound number five yes we have some karmic things to work through or some tough times regarding money believe me there's a time for all of us so don't worry if you feel like you're struggling a little bit but there's a lesson behind the struggle you're going through pile number five and you're you're transforming out of it so anyway i just feel as though like you deserve somebody that's going to be like that that person for you. And you guys are like transforming for that right person for you, pile number five. And also if you guys in a relationship right now, I see both of you going through this transformation that I'm speaking of. So it's not just about, you know, love or relationship, but I do see there's, there's just transforming. There's growth here. You know what I mean, pile number five? Okay, let's get some advice because this, I've been channeling like crazy today. That break was much needed though. I'm like on fire. Or I think I'm on fire. I'm going to listen back to this. Like, what in the heck am I talking about? All right. Drink lots of water. Live your dreams. And health checkup. That's what I'm saying. Pound number five. Like, like you guys will feel like you have enough, like, in life. And it's going to... I feel pound number five, too. Some of you guys are worried about, like, your health. Because, like, you have these health things that may be expensive or this or that. You're going to have money for that. Like, don't worry, pound number five. Some of you guys are just over worried about a few things. Start a new hobby and get a reading. <laughs> what? What's this about? Some of you guys are like tarot readers and you know you're gonna get that coin. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow, pile number five. Oh, very interesting. With the negative energy with the, okay. Watch out for some of these tarot readings too out there guys because a lot of them like are like, you know, three options. Like, are you gonna be rich? No, you're gonna struggle. But like, be careful with these type of readings because you are what you put yourself out there to be. Like, tarot readings, guys, pile number five, the one thing that's missing a lot, and like, not the one thing, because I said the one thing before, but there's another thing that's missing. We are not victims of fate, pile number five. We, are, we can rise and grind. We can change our circumstances. We have like a life purpose and we have faded events, but you can succeed expectations. You can like the angels test you, but you can overcome obstacles 10 times over. Like we have a life map, but like you can hit those goals. You can go under them and go over them. You could do more than that. Like you, there's a lot of like free will space in between faded events, if that makes sense. Pile number five. So it's like a lot of you guys like get these readings. It's like, oh, it's going to be a bad month for money. And in your mind, you're like, oh, I'm going to struggle this month. Like don't listen to those type of people. People are trying to rag on me, which is crazy because I'm a real ass person for being positive. But I'm like, yo, I'm not positive. I'm telling you to go out there and get it. Like, I'm not saying shit's going to just fall on your lap. I'm saying like, you guys are going to have the energy, the power, a door's opening, and then you have to walk through it. Like life is about doing like too many people are just like waiting around for the answers. The answers also are what you create it to be. And some of you guys, like you got a reading that said something that stuck with you. Like, oh, like you're so that you're not going to have till 35 or, oh, you're going to be poor until your forties or you're never going to be able to do that. Or, you know, I got a reading that like this person told me I got a reading off of, this is really funny. I got a reading off of <laughs> freaking, um, TikTok. Good Lord. I was bored, you know? I don't really get readings and I do it under alias. Like, they don't know. They don't know it's the Alice. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding around, guys. I'm not that big of a deal. But, like, uh, I got a reading from a girl and she literally told me, based off my astrology chart, that I wouldn't make it in creative field. That, that also I'd be financially illiterate and struggling with money. 
uh, until like later in life. I'm 26 and I'm self-employed and I'm, I take care of myself just fine. I'm not saying I'm like fucking loaded or whatever, but like she was wrong. But some of you guys may get that same reading and be like, damn, I'm going to be struggling to my thirties. Damn, put it out there. Put it out there. Put it out there. Like don't like these people have, they they are irresponsible with, with what they're doing with spiritual work. And it, it's, it's like with the spiritual thing being like, Oh, okay. You know, an open thing an open everyone's, everyone's place. Yes. Everyone can put their opinions in there, but some of you guys hear things and it really like it bothers me. Cause it's like, it gets ingrained in your mind. It's just a dumb reading. I laughed at it because I'm like, no way. Hell is it? Not me. I'm getting that coin and I'm going to make it happen. Like, you know what I mean? Pound number five, we can create the life we desire. And like through law of attraction, through subliminals, Okay, if you try to force something that's simply not meant for you at that time period, that's one thing. I do believe in that. But also, the, like, you guys, like, are, like, consuming too many of these readings that are telling you you're going to be like this, you're going to be like that. You could be whatever the heck you want to be in this world, pound number five. And, uh, you know, like, this girl told me I'm financially illiterate. Well, maybe just a little bit. But, like, <laughs> no, 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 you're, no, no. Angel's like, no, you're not. Like, thank you, Angel's. But, like, sheesh, like. It hurt my feelings. No, it didn't hurt my feelings. It hurt my feelings because I'm like, wow, there's actually someone out here giving these type of readings to people. And I feel like sometimes I feel, I feel drawn to do something so that I can learn from that and relay the message. Because a lot of you guys are out here getting these stupid ass readings for people who have no idea what the heck they're doing. I'm going to say, you have no idea what you're doing. People don't know this about me, but before I was on YouTube, I was doing spiritual stuff and studying it. I started studying spirituality when I was going through my first awakenings at like 11, 12, 13, 14. Like my teenage years were, were in the books. Like if you look at my, if you look at my freaking, um, cause my life path is seven. I'm just a truth seeker. I'm not here to be popular. I could sit here and tell you guys like everything you want to hear, da, 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 da. but like when I tell you something good is coming, it's because I mean it pile number five. I'm also because you guys are putting it out there and you're hustling. Like I see that you guys are like probably getting your head in the books. You are learning about law of attraction, making money, how to go out there and get it, self-improvement. Like you're in that energy field. So you are destined to do that. But anyway, the point I'm trying to say is I'm not trying to flex or anything, but it's like when people want to come at me, I didn't just hop on TikTok and just make shit up. Like I went out there and I learned, like I don't ever want to be irresponsible with the, with the stuff I, I say to you guys. I'm so passionate about this that like when people want to say something about me and what I'm doing, I'm like, look at yourself. Like look at yourself because I, I went out there and I'm living it. Like anyway, pile number five, like, like the things that I relate to you guys are things that I experienced personally or I researched or I know to be true. People just out here just making stuff up. Like Anyway, power five. I'm going on a rant and I know you guys love it, but if someone ever told you that you were not going to make it, you're not going to be married, you're not going to be this, you're not going to be that, F them. Like, they don't know what they're talking about. You should never, like, predetermine someone's life for them. And that's the reason why I don't do, like, long-term soulmate. Right? Let's focus on the here and now. Let's focus on what we need to focus on here and now. I believe we have several paths on several levels that we could take in life. And we're trying to get to that highest road. We're trying to get to the we're trying to get to our most successful we're trying to be our best selves and that's why i kind of consider myself a bit of like a spiritual life coach over a psychic because i'm like we are we're i'm a visionary i'm aquarius like we create the future we desire we're not victims of fate pile number five we have fated events that are supposed to make or break us change us and gear us into the right direction so pile number five again you are going to be abundant don't let any kind of reading person situation ever make you think otherwise family members friends it doesn't really matter people are out here being irresponsible with their spirituality that's on them <laughs> i heard you would do a two for a check no i wouldn't i would not i would not i don't even take sponsorships on here or my take i don't i can't you know guys like like this is my purpose to like give you guys the truth like and a lot of what i spew at you guys is raw positivity it's because i'm giving that inspiration to you guys to to, to put that energy in your life because you are manifesting actively and the things you consume and say and do are manifestations of what you're putting out there, you know? So it's also like, yeah, like you're also destined for this goodness. So it's almost like if someone tells you you're not, it's almost like they're steering you away from your own destiny. And that is a sin of itself, okay? But anyway, pile number five, if you got big goals, big dreams, keep hustling, keep doing it. There's a door opening up for you. And I don't know why I went on this rant, but maybe somebody told you that that was not for you. And people have told me something was not for me. Oh, I went to get a reading when I was like 16 or 17. And I said to the, <laughs> this is a funny story, to the psychic, I'm like, oh, I actually read hands. She goes, no, that's not for you. You're not going to be doing stuff like that. Boom. I could have believed her. No, she saw my potential and she tried to shoot me down. Now those people got demons. And I'm telling you guys, I'm, I'm seeing some things. A lot of these people are not like workers. Let me tell you that much. They are out for their egos and they can get followers. They can get fans. They can get it all. But you know, in the name of spirituality, good luck on that karma. You're going to have to answer to that one day in time. <laughs> anyway, pile number five. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't listen to what people say. You know, in your soul, what's meant for you. And sometimes the universe will throw you like 
these neg bomb people to try to be like, no, I know this is for me. I know that person's wrong. Six of Cups, childhood dream. You guys have these dreams since your childhood. You know what you're destined to come out here and do. So get out there and do it. Pile number five, doors are opening up for your destiny right now. And I'm seeing good things happening. You can pick another pile if you want more specific message, but that's about it for today. I love you guys so, so much. And I want the best for everyone here. And that is the honest to God truth. And I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and I will see you guys all next week. Please excuse my ranting, but I got a little passionate. All right. Love you guys so much. Bye.